Welcome back to another great episode, historians. Welcome back to another great episode of the Historically Haunted Show. I have uh, pretty much the whole damn crew today. Usually I have one, two, three guests, sometimes four, sometimes why. I got a shit ton of guests today, and they're all from uh, a great group. Um, we're actually right here in my backyard, uh, right in the here in, you know, I'm from Maine, as you know. It's the New England Spirit Society. We have Jamie Adams. We have Paula Clark. We have Pam McNay. We have Eric the Boats. Yeah, Eric Boats is my man. Eric Boats Hardy. We have Carrie Hardy, his wife, who's sleeping, but she's part of the team. We have Melissa Kate, Brittany Hardy, and, um, of course, um, the one that kind of got all this started was Ashley LaPointe, who was my friend on Facebook, who kind of got the ball rolling. So we're going to talk about all their adventures and all that good stuff and get to know them very, very closely. So welcome, Paula Clark and Pam Clark. How are you, ladies? How are you? Great. How are Great. you? Great. How are you? Good. Yeah. Glad to be here. Thank you so much. We're glad to have you. Um, of course, Miss LaPointe, how are you? I'm good. Nice to be here. Nice to awesome. see you. You too. Well, my boy, Boats. What up, brother? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. We got him. And hopefully, let's see. Cross them fingers, cross them toes, pick your belly button nose. Jamie and Melissa. <laughs> oh, see how things can hear us. <laughs> we can yeah. hear you even. Hey, Son ladies. of a gun. I <laughs> I was getting ready to call demonologists. I thought they had a demon in their computer. There. They had an apple, right, Boat? Yeah. I can make yeah. fun now because they're back on. Yeah, it's all about the apple. <laughs> um, my girlfriend, Heather, uh, Heather the Witch, Heather Witch and Kemeniti says, good to meet you all. She's nice actually right to meet you, me. Heather. Hi, Heather. She's, uh, she's the hostess of the Witch and Life Guide show, radio show every other Wednesday on Paranormal King Radio Network as well. Oh, so wow. welcome, 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 crew. Hi. Um, how is everyone tonight? Hi. <laughs> Yeah, right. it's hot. It's yeah. So uh, right off the bat, um, everybody's northeast based, correct? I mean, you don't have to give the exact town if you don't want, but we're all, are we Maine, New Hampshire? Yeah, I'm uh, Elliot, Maine, born and bred um, in Kittery. Yeah, Biddeford, Maine. I was born and raised in Portland um, and grew up there. Oh. Born in New Hampshire. <laughs> well, I'm in New Hampshire. This weirdo's in Maine. No, oh, Jamie's in New Hampshire, and that was... <laughs> We're in South Berwick in Maine. South Berwick. Yeah. So that's very cool. And of course, I'm from the Saco area, and uh, of course, up now by the Brownville, uh, uh, Bangor area. Um, that's cool. Elliot's the first stop in Maine. People think it's Kittery. It's actually Elliot. Mm -hmm. That's where the shipyard is and stuff. That's in Kittery. Fort McClary. Oh, is it Kittery? Yeah, Fort McClary's in Kittery. Yes, Fort McClary's killer. I actually went there. Hannibal Hamlin fought there. Yeah. America's mm -hmm. first Republican vice president who uh, died in Bangor. He's buried in Bangor. And Berwick's yeah. killer, that's where uh, Sarah Orne Jewett is, America's first yeah. female poet that didn't write romance novels. Been to her house where her mother and daughter died. Not that I know my shit, but um, <laughs> so anyway, I'm glad to have you guys on here. Jim Brown checks in. Jim, my brother, always checking in. Love you, Jimmy. How are you? What's going on? Hi, Jim. Uh, say hi, everybody. Hey, Jim. Hey, Jim. Brian from the West Coast, checking out the ghost towns out there in California area. Says, Ooh. what's that? Brian, he does funny as your heat. Small town adventures. Check them out. They do like Wyatt Earp type stuff. Uh, oh, awesome. stuff. Uh, uh, hey, real quick, Ashley, Heather wants to know if you're a, a ram or a bulldog. <laughs> Portland. Sorry, bulldogs. Yes. <laughs> She went to Deering, so that's the same area. So um, I'm going to get right into it. We'll get into some fun shit later, too. But let's start around the room. I haven't had this many guests, so I'm kind of like, eh. Um, <laughs> how'd y'all meet? Was it was it online? Was it a mutual ghost hunt? Y'all related? I let Jamie so, take that one. Yeah. So um, Paula and Boats and I were on another team. And we decided we wanted to kind of do a little bit more than what the other team was doing. So we ventured out, um, put together the team we have now. Now, Ashley, we were never supposed to meet. We ended up at the Conjuring House with a friend of ours with Silas Paranormal. Yeah. And somebody backed out last minute. So Ashley ends up getting the ticket. So Paula Boats and I were down there. And Paula wasn't supposed to be there either. She took another last minute ticket from somebody else that had backed out. So we're going through a little bit of the investigation. Then we all took a break. And then Ashley is like, hey, I put together some research. Does anybody want to hear what I put together? And we're like, of course, you know, because we love the research. And she, she pulls out this really thick, what I would call thick 
uh, portfolio, if you will, of the place. And she's like, I'm sorry, I only had 24 hours notice, so I didn't get to put too much together. And we're like, oh my God. <laughs> and, but she Ashley was rocks. so thorough. <laughs> so when we got back and um, started getting our team together, she was the first call that we made. We're like, we want you on our team, you know, researcher, or investigator. Like she's it's just an asset. huge asset. Absolutely. Huge. Absolutely. <laughs> a lot of people love to cut you off, but a lot of people just want the selfies, the real, let's go and do it and have popcorn and woo, that was cool. But there's the one of us, and I feel like you all have that because I, I don't know all of you that closely and I'm just now friends with most of you, but what I'm seeing, you're all very passionate. And I think that's one of the biggest mm -hmm. things lacking in this field sometimes. I think yeah. people just want to do it for the thrill and grill and the, in the Instagram story or the TikTok video, and they don't yeah. put the research into it. They don't go, why would like the conjuring house? Are there soldiers mm -hmm. buried in those walls, in the cement walls? I've heard so much. Look at you smiling. You must know. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. They say there is. Um, I don't. They know. did find five bodies out in the backyard. Uh, that I did find slave records for the property, um, and they wow. kind of correlate with all of that. Um, but no, there's no bodies in the basement walls. But that, that I'll we tell you what. There's definitely something going on there because. When we were there, uh, and that was the other great thing about when we met, is I instantly connected with all them investigation-wise as well. Like, they like to do things the same way I did. They were very professional. There wasn't any whispering. There was orchestrated con like questions and orchestrated investigations to, like, you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't all just thrown together. It wasn't a bunch of people in the same... Oh, you know, Jim's been, a lot. Jim's been the conjuring a lot. Uh, yes, by uh, the stone walls. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, Harris, so we Harris all work Harris very Harris well with um, investigating with each other. Um, and we just bounce great off each other when we're working. So I, we really, really take everything we do very seriously. Um, and That's we like really working with other teams as well. And we like meeting new people. We're not in it for clout. We're not in it for, you know, the Instagram posts, as you say, or the next TikTok video. We're in it because <laughs> each and every- Nothing wrong with that disclaimer. Nothing wrong with it. <laughs> each just... and every one of us are deeply impacted by the paranormal personally. And that's what brought us really all together. And uh, I, I, couldn't ask, I couldn't ask for a better team. I uh, Paul and Pam, are you all uh, sisters, mother, daughter? Sisters, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I, I don't know. I don't know. I figured that I can't really yeah, I tell you a video. I don't know. I'm not no just I don't know. For all I know, I mean I just I, I could I know you figured you had the same last name and we could be married for all I know. It is crazy time. I, mean, I, I, no I don't know. I just didn't know the connection there. So so were y'all part of a team? I, I kind of cut Jamie off and we went. I never did get the full explanation. Go ahead, Jamie, about the team molding. Yeah, so um Paula and Boats and I were on a different team. And then when we, we met and had a discussion about starting our own team, uh, we brought Pam in as one of the, the founding members. So Pam, Paula, oh. Boats, and I are the founding four. And oh. then we brought Ashley in. And then um, Melissa here. <laughs> I forgot my we, name. <laughs> we had a, uh, an investigation. <laughs> and we needed somebody else to help out with, with investigating on the team. And I've known Melissa. We worked together like years ago so that's cool yeah, i've known her for a long time and uh she didn't know that we were actually giving her a trial no <laughs> yes so she passed and yep. so she joined the team and then both his wife and daughter are also investigators with the team that's right too and they're not here tonight because of different reasons and whatever and of course uh boats uh girl gets up the crack butt crack of dawn in the witching hour to go to work so <laughs> i'm usually going to bed by the time when she wakes up oh that's rough yeah i've done something like that i've yeah i've been on the opposite end of that third shift that's rough um so let's talk about um what roles do you play let's start with paula what's what's your role are you in you know, like obviously you're all investigators but yeah. do you have anything besides that do you um, I, for the other team, I actually used to do a lot of the history and the research, which I'm glad that Ashley's now taken that over. <laughs> I still go to her though. Don't well, let her still, fool yeah, you. Do it better than her. Yeah. Her. yeah. yeah as, as I find things, I get to her and I say, 
okay, just tell me if I'm on on this, and she'll go, and you'll just start. She'll start laughing, you know. <laughs> well, I think it's it kind of to back up and, yeah. and understand that piece of the story. So Paul and I are both. We are the, for lack of a better word, the psychics of the team. And oh, so okay. when we when we get um, requests on a property, Paul and I are very specific about only wanting the address. We want absolutely right. no other information. We do our reads. We don't even confer with each other about our individual reads. Oh. Wow. Um, and then we all sit down as a group and she and I will individually read what we had written down and documented. And then Ashley will will kind of laugh and, and kind of do this through the entire thing because she's, <laughs> she's got history this, like, on things that we have pulled out. Um, so we review that and and that's how that's one of the first ways that we start an investigation. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so I think um, I think you might work a slightly differently than I do. I'm not sure. A little. We're pretty close. Pretty close. But, but that's we, cool. You kind of you can instead of being yeah. exactly the same, you can kind of bounce shit off each other. Oh yes. It, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of like, well, do you feel that? Well, no, I feel this. And you kind of work with your. Are you witches or just is it more psychic? Do you believe in? No, it's just more but, psychic. Like Impala is is extremely. I'm not gonna say she's just, but she's very land based. Mm -hmm. So she will pick up what's wrong with the land. Um, I do uh, too to some extent, but I think I tend to pick up more kind of a broader history um, of of what's going on. The land is this is one of the strengths. Yeah. But, um, I, I can when I go in a house, I'll, I'll also get a lot just off from the house yeah. or people. Um, you know. Well, we ask what we do is we focus, and this is something we're similar in. We both, when we're doing reads, ask what is the problem. Right. So we're not necessarily looking to talk to every spirit, every entity. You know, everybody's. Aunt May, that's around. <laughs> yeah, so well, we are specifically yeah. it can be overwhelming. What is, exactly? We're specifically looking for what's the problem. What's the problem? If you open that up. I'm sorry, but if you open that up, you're right. You, you end up getting people, and it's like, well, this is even part of it. But people go, right. oh, they can hear me, and then these spirits go over and go, they can hear us, guys, and they bring their fucking buddy. Next thing you know, you're talking <laughs> to Tommy from three blocks down the road, and you want the motherfucker that lives in the farmhouse. Uh, yeah. Of course, <laughs> You've been there. <laughs> With the conjuring house, too, everybody blames poor Bathsheba when they don't even think it was the witch Bathsheba. And there's literally, from what I've never been, oh, man, I almost, I almost wanted to go back when the old lady owned it. She was blaming people for trespassing before Corey bought it. <laughs> but um, um, they say there's multiple, there's a diverse connection of spirits at that fucking place that's just oh, mind-blowing. It's like definitely. a portal from hell, like. Mm -hmm. um, all right, what question were we on? Okay, so Ashley, you're the historian. Your turn. Yeah, so um, basically I do the same thing. I, I'm i contacted by Boats or Jamie. Um, they usually do like the intake parts of things and all they give me is an address. That's it. Um, and I do basically all my research based off that address and I go back as far as I possibly can. Um, after I've gathered a majority of my research, again, we we group together. Um, most of the time we actually do an investigation before the girls are even told what's going on in the house or like the history of the house. Whoa, that way I they're going that. in blind. Do you know wow. what I mean? So all they're going in with is what they picked up remotely for their read and what happens in the house. And then after we do that, then I tell them the history. And then we correlate that history with any of what they picked up. And then we correlate that with any evidence we've received or claims from the owner. So we have three different ways to verify anything that's going on in the home. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and that's, that's called covering your ass. <laughs> covering your ass. <laughs> yeah, I like that way of putting it. Yeah. That's, um, uh, yeah, Jim says it's a great idea. Rather, I gather financial records from people in the 1700s even. Like I can... I do everything I can. I also research the geographical information on the land. So like Paula said, she really connects with the land itself. So I'll go in and I'll see what kind of rock formations, what kind of ground soils are there, what kind of droughts. 
um, what kind of water tables, you name it, what oh the weather, God. even the weather. And um, she does that because I'll ask questions mm -hmm. that <laughs> yeah. 10 times out of 10, up. they'll yeah. correlate, you know. Um, Pam really picks up on children and the emotions of a, of a really? sad child or even oh. a woman. She really picks up on those things. And there's been gift. so many times where I could validate what she said with research and wow. it is just mind-blowing we've had so much success with that um and and we do private homes and with that success we're hearing great results from those clients that's which is more important for us you know that's that's the first if mm -hmm. you're in it to find answers and i'm not trying to be a dick but if we're in it dude mm -hmm. especially if we look up to ed and lorraine warren and that's why you started even the ghostbusters they were in it to help people whether you get paid right. or not i get it but obviously yep. not but you're in it to help people first and foremost that is it um yep. you know uh boats my homie you've been quiet you're i'm not gonna lie dude kind of a, a female dominated uh, team which is kind of refreshing to see you don't see it much i'm kind of that's yeah, cool. I know, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get the stink guy but boats and hose oh <laughs> the houseboat <laughs> you're a titanic motherfucker. I, who are you bullshitting i am the i am the token good looking man I, my I'm son calls it. him the Viking leader of the group. <laughs> I, I tell you, it, it was it was male dominated forever. Then I think people started mm -hmm. realizing and knowing Lorraine Warren and going, "Holy shit!" And then people started coming out, and they females are right in there with the males. I don't believe in that gender shit when it comes to this field mm -hmm. or anything, honestly. And mm -hmm. uh, anyway, so that's cool to see it. But boats, um, brother, uh, you're you're into what now? I know obviously the technology part, but go ahead and explain it. What's your role in uh, the New England Spirit Society? Uh, I love that we're... name. Jamie and I kind of we we split the load on uh, on like on intake as far as uh, you know if we get uh, you know customers I mean, not really customers but clients um, yeah. and uh, you know I, I I'm more into the you know I, I do do you know paranormal and you know the paranormal is it, it's an umbrella because it covers everything mm -hmm. um, but my uh, also. My, this, this is this is good. This is good talk show shit. How so? <laughs> okay, so you have, so you have the paranormal, which is the umbrella. Mm -hmm. Then you have one line. You have ghosts. Yes. A spirits. You have UFOs. You have cryptids. You have cryptids, uh, yes. You have, you have <laughs> elements. You have the elementals from the woods, the fairies, the fae. I mean, you have which would I? You know, I, I don't know if the fae would be classified as a cryptid. Brian. Um, but. Um, one of my huge passions is UFOs, and Mine is. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm constantly look, looking up to the point where it hurts. Um, yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, so I basically, you know, I I also I like to research a lot of the. I mean, and, and a lot of this technology that's that's coming out, you know, it's great, but I find that going back to the basics, having a, a voice recorder, a pendulum. You know, a uh, dowsing rods. Oh, I was going to say, if he says dowsing rods, I'm going to kiss you. You son of a bitch. I love this man. <laughs> Old school. Right there, yes. you, get, you get more evidence with that than, yeah. you know. So, I mean, you know, I love technology, but, you know, sometimes keep it simple, stupid. Dude, you know? dude, dude, dude. Okay. I, I got to say, I got to cut you off because, I, I mean, it's, it is about you guys, but I got to talk to because I, I just love it. Um that's my biggest thing is nine out of 10 people that see ghosts aren't sitting in bed at night with their REM pods on. They're right. watching TV. They're going to bed. They're taking a the shit. They're getting up to make coffee. And they're they living something. their lives. So what do you do to catch a ghost? When I went to the Oliver house in Massachusetts, when I went to someplace that Ashley probably considers Graceland, uh, <laughs> the uh, American Stonehenge in Salem, New Hampshire, mm. one of the best places ever. Did you, hear you, you go there, place? you just absorb it. I don't need anything yeah. but my brain and my face and my eyes and maybe a recorder for my youtube channel <laughs> but other than that dude you sit there and you just absorb it and uh anyway shit but you got me all excited did don't you hear what they, right speaking about american stonehenge did you hear what they did to it oh don't tell me what some jackasses went in there and destroyed it oh the sacrifice slab right well, well they did more damage than that they went in oh, shut the front door yeah they uh they went in and they pretty much uh damaged the whole area in uh, Salem, New Hampshire, America's yeah. Stonehenge, Mis uh, yeah. Mystery Hill. La last week or two weeks ago. Did you hear that? First it was Madame Cherie's staircase, yeah. and now this. Yeah. Oh, don't get me started, man. 
But that, yeah. I stop at cemeteries every day and try to pick up slabs. I remove brush from cemeteries. And I don't go on Facebook and brag about it. And I don't ask the town for money. I do it because that's fucking amazing. It's cemeteries and shit like that is what we have left in this I world. Love like, nope, that. sorry. Anyway. Uh, no, I love that. You know, it's all about preserving what other people left here to preserve to preserve to love their dead ones to cherish their dead and to ruin something like new hampshire stonehenge it's like that was here forever and then oh, people God. people have to ruin it this is why we like paranormal this We're is why we like those things you know we are yeah. moles on society yeah. i love the yes. dead better than the living i go to cemeteries to be with my people and then people come in jogging <laughs> or with their dogs and i go Ugh. <laughs> But I got radio shows because I talk to cool people like you guys. Um, fuck boats. Oh, man, I got to look that up after the show now. I wanted to watch wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, um, did I catch you? Did they, did they catch? I, I, I don't know. They, they, they just spoke about the fact that somebody went in and vandalized the place, and then they left it quiet after that because somebody had listed it as an act of terrorism. So. Oh, my fucking God. I would literally flip out, man. My mom died two years ago on me, um, and I died in a car accident last year for six seconds. And uh, I have no family. My, I had my, I had one daughter, and she died in miscarriage. Anyway, um, I got a girl now, and I love her. But for the most part, dude, I live for history. I, this is my life. Paranormal is not just Halloween decorations for me, like you guys. It's every day. And I live mm -hmm. for the history. I live for the Lizzie Borden house. I live for the... Um, Oh man, like oh, like Bernard's yeah. Tavern got torn down in Kenny Bunk. Yo, you saw yeah. that? Oh my right? god, yes. I almost wanted to go get a piece of it just to have it, you know. Little by yeah. I wanted to grab a rock out of the basement. I wanted yeah. to go so bad. I go, cock suck. I couldn't Why? fucking go. they're tearing history down and they're putting up mini balls mini. and duplexes and, and fucking ice cream stands and weed dispensaries. I love and weed we gas wrong. stations. <laughs> yeah, you can see what they're doing. Porsche with New Hampshire is tearing down all those old buildings. No, not Strawberry Bank. No, they're not touching that. They that can't be touched. But all the older buildings where all the tunnels are leading to, they're filling in all the tunnels, and so the, the tunnel networks are being destroyed. Um, and they're building new build, buildings on top of them. Hi, Aura. Aura works. Aura is a member of the Warren Legacy Foundation, like I am. We both Hi, work Aura. with Lorraine's brainchild. With she says hello. Hi. Hey. Oh, uh, Jim, you're the fucking man. I, I love you, Jim. Jim. <laughs> Got me out when I got my car accident. Jim's also, uh, uh, he's from Freiburg, Maine. He does a lot of, uh, he's with um, Tombstone Paranormal. Uh, oh, Jim, nice. this is, uh, yes, this is New England Spirit Society, and I'm sure they'd love to work with you guys. I definitely want to work with you guys. It's just yeah. historically haunted paranormal. It's just me and Heather. As, as Ashley knows, we kind of just go places. As I, I love stalk it. you. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I love got your stuff. I, 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 I do. I got into the Fairbanks house, the oldest house in New Hampshire in Portsmouth. My buddy has a key, and I got to go in the basement, fucking dirt basement. And oh. that's cool that you dig that shit. So anyway, anyway, so Melissa, take the mute off. And what the fuck do you do? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Play back show. I runner. wonder. Okay. Uh, She's the fairy tale what princess. What do you do? I don't know. What do you do? That's like, okay. I'm the runner. You'll get my camera. Okay. I'm the yes girl, pretty much. No. <laughs> She's an don't let her don't let her downplay herself. She's, She's a, a great investigator. For somebody that's kind of new to it, she jumped right in. There was no hesitation, no problems. She spoke right up. There was no whispering. I didn't have to tell her to sh to sh you know what I mean? Like she genuinely jumped into it full heartedly. I and love that. I hey, think the passion is there is the rest of us. You so know, I had, she's great. She's great. Betsy says hi. I had done a bunch of um, investigations with a, I don't know if they're really even a group, but <laughs> um, I had done, friends of mine had gone on um, in investigations at um star island which oh my gosh Ooh. yeah very cool Lots my buddy there. goes to star island bird watching and yeah. right by star island is the grave of the spanish sailors and smutty yeah. knows where those two girls got killed and they're buried in ports oh you know fuck yeah oh i love history i love shit yes have so them. of course the like the first yeah. year that i went out we took the um ferry out we stayed for a weekend they would host this group group would host like a um paranormal weekend type thing um oh. and so i loved doing that stuff and i in my other job i'm a nurse and um thank you my service. friends and i would put on 
back when it wasn't crazy busy and we had time to do this, um, we would put on like our little ghost hunter apps on our phone and go into like different areas <laughs> of the hospital because we work night shift. Um, so up until that, it was all fun and games. And then Jamie came to me and was like, we've got this property we're doing. It's pretty big. <laughs> We need some help. Can you come and help? Because, of course, every time they posted something, I was like, oh, my God, so cool. I want to play. Thinking, like, <laughs> they'll never let me play. <laughs> hint, hint. Get me in your fucking team. Hint, and hint. So, I want to yeah. play. <laughs> so she messaged me one day and was like, do you want to come in and help? And I was like, yeah, sure. And it, it's Ashley's right. Like, it's crazy. That was my first, like, I was like, oh, God, these people, like, mean business. There's, like, 18 cameras and mics everywhere and cords that have to be taped and all the things. And I was like, I don't know how to do any of this. Um, so um, luckily, you know, I went over to Jamie's one night before that and she was like, look through the equipment, tell me what you're familiar with. And of course, like we had used all the fun, like the dowsing rods and the pendulums and the EVPs and all that stuff before, but I was looking at like the cameras and the lighting and I was like, that's not my, <laughs> but everyone was so awesome. Like, of course, A, it was a high pressure. Um, it was a big, yes, it, was. <laughs> it was a big property. There was a lot going on. Um, Where was it again? We can't disclose. We can't disclose. Oh, it was a personal, it wasn't a, it wasn't a bucket. It wasn't like a, okay. yeah, no, it wasn't no. a bucket list. Oh, well, that was a test, and you all passed it. That was very cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. When people do home investigations and share pictures, I'm like, what are you fucking doing? It's like a doctor sharing pictures of an x-ray. You can't do yeah. that. Dude. Yeah. So, okay. Sorry, Melissa. I'm sorry. I no, thought no, it was no, like, like a sanatorium or something. No, it was no. Yeah. I can't wait until we can talk about it because it'll be it'll be really fun. But it's epic. No. Yeah. Um, but no, it was. Good. So, it was like a big property. Respect. They were like so professional. They were, like I said, I, we had never done cameras before on the things that I had gone to. So this is like big deal. Plus we had a guest there that I was a little fangirling over. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to talk about that, but anyway. Well, that's, kind of, yeah, but that's also going to get you on the team. You fangirled your way on the team, didn't you? I'm not a player. You're, you're hired. Cause yeah. I think, yeah, I think a lot of people get that, you know, they want to join a team and people get to weed people out. Is this guy a weekend warrior? Yeah. Little guy? Is this, this yeah. Is someone who wants to, you know, uh, yeah. what's, what's Betsy say here? Uh, Betsy's cool. Good. She rolls with the searchers, Josh Purvis and Shane Pittman and them um, from Holzer Files. I just had my first at home wow. personal investigation. Awesome, Betsy. I know you How'd just it go? It. Yes. Tell, you. Please tell us how it go. Obviously, keep it. Congratulations, cool, buddy. Detail, but I'm proud yeah. of you on that one. Shit. That's awesome. All right. Our first fucking question. Took, only took a half hour into it. <laughs> Thank you, Aura North. Um, Aura asks, um, do any of you use dowsing rods? Um, she's used pendulums. And uh, we're going to get back to uh, Jamie and find out her role in a minute, too. But feel free to answer that, anyone. Paula. You <laughs> have Paula do the dowsing, the dowsing rods, rods, my friend. Yeah. I was waiting for somebody else to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, so the dowsing rods, um, they basically, your body is what is doing it. Your body is what is producing the signal a yes or a no or a maybe whatever you programmed it to ask uh to answer to so um you know some people use rods and they like to cross them some people use a pendulum um, some people just use their own body um, so you just have to set up kind of parameters for it so that you can get a yes a no and you know that those look different um and a maybe uh, unclear. Do, do, uh, real quick, I, I got a question, real quick, Jamie. I'm not holding you back on you either, Jamie. But real quick, to any of you, um, besides boats, um, do any of you? Um, I'm gonna take boats off because he's being uh, vacant. Um, do any of you use crystals, smudging, sage, anything like that? Boats is back. Is it we will after um, if there's a problem and we've identified the problem, we may use smudging to clear the area. Um, so that that's one that's one way that we can clear an area. Yep. We had. Yeah, a, yeah, I agree. We had a uh, Heather got to, Heather got to use dowsing rods at the Lizzie Borden house in the same room the father got killed, and she used dowsing rods and it pointed right to the couch. I was pretty. We had the whole place to ourselves. The girl goes, "The other people canceled. You have the whole place. Don't die." I go, "Oh my god, we got Lizzie Borden's to ourselves for two hundred fifty bucks." <laughs> so I slept jealous. In every fucking bed that night. I tell you, oh, I stayed up like a little twelve year old. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, call me. I can drive quick. <laughs> oh, it was good times. Um, real quick. All right. So, all right. One more question. Then we got to get to Jamie because we're stalling on that question for her. Um, 
Brian Bohall from Small Town Adventures does a lot of the uh, the out west uh, Jesse James style haunts in oh, uh, uh, California. Yeah. Uh, how many Brilliant. of you have gifts? How many of you are empaths, ESPs? He's kind of joined us late. So go ahead. Or, uh, any of you have any little ability? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Jamie. I am nowhere near where Paul and Pam are, but uh, I didn't know what was wrong with me, I guess you could say, until I met Paul. <laughs> and she's like, you know, you're like me, right? And I'm like, huh? You're and, an X-Men. Uh, all of a sudden, I'm like, well, that makes so much sense because I would get like these little pictures in my head that didn't make sense. And I remember talking to dead people when I was young. I didn't understand what was going on, but I also knew enough not to say anything to anybody, all my dead relatives. And um, as I got older and after I met Paula, things started clicking in place like, oh, now I understand this. Now, do I work on it to try and make it stronger and... Um, I don't know what the word is, but you know, be more acute with it. I yep. just don't have the time, but eventually, that's the goal. But so now, with like Paul and Pam, and just, yeah. what I'll do is I'll do a remote reading aside from theirs, and um, I'll usually show it to Ashley or Boats and say, "Okay, this is what my reading was." And then, so they already kind of know. Like I've already done my own just to see if I'm on or off and i i do pretty good yes nowhere does. near those two ladies. it's a growing so, ability constantly exercising it she's really she's blown my mind lately i um, i can share this because it's my own personal information but my father was in a horrible uh he had a horrible accident and honestly i didn't think he was gonna live and she picked up on this before it even happened and she was telling me <laughs> about a head injury and feeling really, really sick and all this other stuff. Two day, uh, a day later, my father has the accident. And uh, I called Whoa. her and I was like, you were trying to tell me something that, and I, and she didn't know who would have known that, you know what I mean? But her, it's just getting, I really see how much work she's put into it. And it's just amazing to watch her like blossom. <laughs> Mastering you know? her craft, so to speak. <laughs> yeah. Mastering yeah. the craft. Jamie, yeah. that's true. That's yes. that, what she said. Obviously, you're nodding your head. That that no shit. Yeah, it happened. Yeah, yeah. In front of witnesses. <laughs> yeah, a whole bunch. <laughs> yeah. You have a lot of this on the team. You have a lot of tech with boats, but you also have the history with boats. You look like he's a researcher, like you said. He kind of does his research. Like, well, how does? Uh, real quick, let's touch back. Um, we'll get back to you in a minute, Jamie. Uh, real quick, um, your wife boats. She's sleeping. So let, let's give a little respect and shout out to her. What's what does she do on the team? What does she uh, bring to the table, so to speak? Be nice. Be nice. She's gonna watch the replay tomorrow on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She's uh, she's the one who keeps me from doing stupid things. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but Heather just she, laughed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, she uh, she does like a lot of the administ administrative, you know, typing up of my uh, my bad penmanship and spelling and stuff like that. Um, she's my personal secretary, my chauffeur. Okay. Um, <laughs> She also puts Mom. together all of our records for the yeah. um, when yeah. we go to present something to a client. She types up the report, mm -hmm. and she helps out on. She she's an investigator as yeah. well. Yeah, Heather saved my ass a bunch. She's pulled yeah. me out of places. Well, that's good. Every behind every good man's a better woman. They say, and that's true. That's, you're like a pretty good too. dude. So she's got to be great. Yeah. And, uh, team mom. <laughs> that's what I call you her. Guys, like team mom. Yeah, you guys <laughs> seem to gel like a team at like almost like a little. <laughs> You guys are a good team. You can Thank tell you. no one's trying to outdo each other. No one's trying to be no. like, well, I do this. And no. you're all very much well, humble I mean, in your own way. Um, Jamie and I worked together for 10 years, but we knew we, we've known each other longer, right? Yeah, it's close, something like, yeah, right. 10 years. And I met Paula through Jamie because of an investigation. I met Pam through Paula. I wonder why, because they're related. <laughs> and, you know, so. And we know Melissa's story. She tagged along. She's like the roadie right. at the concert. She's the yeah. Right. Oh, the she's the, she's the, she's the, the mean, Girl man. Scout selling the cookies. She's yeah, the team mascot. Yeah. Ashley sure more or less applied and got can picked. You guys seem to gel. Everybody's lighting up in chat. Sorry, guys. My sympathies to you, Ashley, on your father. Uh, Thank Morris you. Says. He's doing much better. He's doing great. I saw him this past weekend, and I got stand-up hugs. 
where he was actually oh. standing up. So that was the greatest feeling in the world. And I love that. Uh, my Laura's team coach. supported me through all of it. I couldn't ask for better um, support. You know, oh, yeah, that's awesome. Great, so. Yeah, that's, thank you. That's what it's about. I mean, that means a lot. She spoke very highly of you. Uh, we talked about it, and she's like, "I'd love my sh my team to come on." And I'm like, "We'd like to talk this and that." And I'm like, "Oh my god, I've only had like two guests the most." I'm like, "Fuck!" I'm like, "You know what? I'm gonna give it a shot." And then I dug you guys' shit, and I saw what you're about. And I'm like, "Let's fucking do it." And it seems to work good. Uh, we had a little bit of technical difficulties with Jamie at first. We were stuck on her face. I told you. Thing, I you. I told you. <laughs> it's, it's the fucking demon in your computer. So hey, man, we got about a half hour left to go. Plenty of time. Yeah. We can go over. Um, let's go around the room, class, and let's talk about our favorite places to investigate with a team or just in any places you've been. Starting with Paula. Oh, God. Yeah. You no, know, I, I don't really have any favorites. I mean, um, I Paula, Paula, dead air, dead air. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. I, I actually Laundry house. enjoy them. I. I prefer the private places, actually. I like that. Um, I like that. That's the first because, time I've heard that one. Right, because that's how I exercise my talent, and that's what I like to do. I like to go in, and I like to fix the problem. That's At what the I end of the day, do. much respect to the Conjuring House, but 900 fucking thousand people have been there and probably conjured up more than they've actually right. helped. Right. You guys do it. We, seriously, people go in there and go, oh, yeah, I want the Ouija board. Okay, they leave. All right. Next place. Right. And then they go. And next I go, I think there's a fucking Belgium up here. <laughs> eating virgins fucking raw with goat heads because people fuck up and they don't know what they're doing. Am I right? I've had a beer. Fucking whatever. You're good. You're good. Part, that's Paula. This is, this is my what my 28th episode 28th episode i've had everybody on here and the only person who said that was chris mckennell ed and lorraine warren's oh, grandson nice. and said the only thing what he really loved the bucket list of most was helping people with the warren legacy foundation everybody else has said oh the sanatorium oh the penitentiary oh the fucking psych ward oh the mm -hmm. that's in much respect and i'm not trying well, to lose people I, from watching I, like doing that, that, um, I love that dude one thing i don't like about those things is because I'm empathic, um, I can get a lot of physical symptoms from what's going on in the house. So I have literally tasted dead people. That sounds gross, but I, I mean, our, as we do things in a house, our cells slough off and they can get stuck, you know, anywhere in the house, in the dust, wherever. Um, if I'm somewhere and that gets moving, I can actually taste it. I can smell it. Um, it does give me information, but it's not the kind that I really like. <laughs> wow. It's taste usually that. met with a funny look. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <Jamie. laughs> How's that going? <laughs> Who brought it <laughs> along? <laughs> or I just have to turn a little bit, or do I just have to step back a little bit. Um, but people don't realize that we slough off skin cells all the time. And that is actually part, sometimes, as gross as, as it is, no. of what I read when I'm doing a reading. <laughs> well, and well fucking Melissa's a nurse, so she's seen fucking hemorrhoids and shit, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, Speaking right, of whatever. that. Well, I got um, you. <laughs> please, no one else say residential. I mean, you can say it if you want, but um, everybody watching wants to know about the biggest eight asylums and shit. So, so um, wow. Pam, Pam, what's your what's your thing that you've gone to? Seriously, I've been my favorite is Lizzie Borden House in Fall River, Massachusetts. I would go back in a heartbeat if the new owners weren't there. Um, yeah. Oh my god, best night of my life was Lizzie Borden House. I stayed up all night in the basement. I got orbs. Uh, anyway, enough about me. Pam, what's your what's your favorite place you've been to? Not bucket list. Not yet. All right. I, you know, I'll just say the Conjuring House because obviously there's a, there's a lot going on there. You know, you can investigate for, you know, years and probably just be scratching the surface. I do agree, though, my favorite part of investigating, and I'm sorry, it really is doing the private residences and working with this team because as a psychic, it's not easy. It's, it's not often we get the validation that we get because Ashley's so good at her job. You know, she's so good at the research that she validates more than she doesn't of what we say. And, um, you know, and so what she isn't able to, a lot of times 
she'll then take and do deeper research into whichever kind of avenue we've sent her with that. And she'll find even new with new things, which is, it's just really exciting how the team gels together and everything that we do. That's what's cool though, is that like you say, in most mediums that I know that I see my girl, Heather, she don't really, she does do research, but she's kind of like, I just want to fill the place out. Then I'm the one yeah. that's researching. So she's like, I feel like there's a little boy here. I'm like, is it Harold Ramis from fucking 1912 yeah. with the hung in the basement? Or, uh, you know, I mean, that's kind of, I'm kind of like the backup. Like, yes, oh my God, he was a I'm like, I need to know who this little a, boy is. Like, yeah. yeah was, this was a Union Underground, not Union Underground, it's a band. This was a, um, um, you know, part of the underground with the slaves. Anyway. Underground Railroad. Yeah. There we go. Christ's sake. Um, well, that's the best part for me is when uh, is when I don't know anything, and then all of a sudden I'll say two or three things, and everybody will just crack up and laugh, or you know. Uh, Ashley starts dancing everybody, typically. <laughs> yes. dancing. Hey, everybody, dance. seriously, listen oh. to your teacher. Read that comment. That's for all of you. <laughs> oh, thank yes. you. Yes, 100%. thank you. Thank you very much. It's, it's been more than once. It's been more than once that, that either Ashley or Paul or Pam have had us out looking in graveyards in the dark, looking for names. <laughs> oh, yes. Wasn't it the best? <laughs> yeah. Can you just look at this because I need to know now, like now. Are you, like I don't care that it's eight thirty. People walking up to us. Like, everything all right? Yeah, yeah. We're just looking for a name. Yeah, dude. <laughs> You can so ask can Heather, if I'm going 55 down the road, there's a cemetery, the bricks are coming on, I'm finding the first yeah. driveway and I'm turning back. I stopped yeah. the other day out and fucking, where, the fu where was it? Court, uh, uh, ZZ Top Song, LaGrange, LaGrange, Maine? Yes. And there's a graveyard there, and this guy said part of the bomb squad died in battle. I got a picture, I haven't uploaded it yet for Facebook. Oh, wow. This guy died in the bomb squad in battle in like 1925 oh, wow. or something. Like, that's huge. Oh, wow. And he's forgotten about in LaGrange, Maine? You ever heard of that? Because I fucking haven't. So I'm That's glad I stopped because this guy's gonna get remembered on my page soon. I, I love upload that. It. Yep. But um, yep. okay, Ashley, question real quick for my girl Heather. I would love to have you help me research my family's home, no longer in my family, but no doubt it's energetic. I just don't know how to research records. It's on. You ever heard of Stevens Ave in Portland, Maine? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Where Stevens Tavern was. It's in the Guinness Book yes. of World Records. <laughs> It's yep. the only place you can live on your whole life and never leave it and die. There's an elementary school, a preschool, a high school, a Christian school, yep. a middle school, a funeral home, a cemetery, um, wow. a gas station, a bank, four Small or five world. businesses, a college, <laughs> fucking two high schools. I mean, in her house is, is she believes 1900. It's 1800. She thinks it's the 510, they call it. Mm -hmm. um, her, her mother came back from vacation and found her stepfather dead in the bed after seven days. And it was a puddle of black ooze in the middle of summer with no air conditioning in that house. That's still there. Yeah. It's right by where's the school right in back of it. Lincoln. School? Oh, yep. Yep. Middle? Lincoln. Memorial. Yep. 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 If we could ever possibly get a hold of you since you're right close. I mean, honestly, we're yeah, right, I mean, right now. Um, um, would you go check that out? Yeah. And if you want a team to come like research the house, we, I mean, like we, we could we come in and, you know, see what kind of evidence she has kicking up, if that's something, you know. We do have a website, um, and I will um, have to share that so you can put that up. But um, is it the new, is it is it just nest.com or is it New no, England Spirit no, Society? No, they took nest.com away, but it's New England Spirit Society.com. But it's got N S it's got N uh N E S S in parentheses or right next to it. That's, in the web, that's actually it. on the website itself. That's on Oh it's not. No. No, we were unable we were it's, unable we to... had our page. Okay. Um, yeah, and, and you I, can I, definitely our, our Facebook page just on there has N E S S next to it. Yeah. Jamie, uh, Jamie, I talked to Ashley. She said nothing on Instagram or YouTube yet. <laughs> we're working Twitch or on TikTok. it. We're working on it. <laughs> working on it. I don't do that shit. YouTube's no. good enough. YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Even Instagram. I'm I like, think ah. we have an Instagram. Okay. I'm not sure. We don't use it. I feel like I've been talking to my friends. She's saying yes. We're not a live audience. Okay. We are talking to <laughs> New England Spirit, S-P-I-R-I-T, Society. Who came up with the name? Who's got the credit? Actually, it was really the four of us. Yeah, coming Belting up with it. Name, Ashley, Belting yeah, name. it was. I think Boats is the one that came up with this one, though, and we all went, yeah. "Ooh, yeah, I love the name." I love, I love it. I love it. The society parts, neat, the spirits. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so what do we leave off? 
uh, as far as favorite places to investigate? Or was it actually? Oh man, uh, I've well, done quick, a lot. The conjuring house is what? What's the conjuring house? Seventeen oh five or something? Or seventeen ten? Sixteen eighty, sixteen eighty four. Sixteen eighty four. The Harrisville Farm Road. Wow. Yeah, yeah it's pretty old. I think I which, don't have anything in front of me, but. I measure everything by the witch trials, 1692. <laughs> that's my measurement. <laughs> Favorite place I've ever investigated that's yeah. not like a home. Obviously, I love doing homes. That's what I, my passion is. Paula stole um, that thunder. But I've been doing this for like 10 years independently, actually. And um, I honestly, my mom's house is one of my favorite places. I could just sleep there and everything. Mm. Something always happens, you know. Um, or where's that Portland? My mom lives in Portland. Yeah, in a very old apartment building. And, and let me tell you what, great stuff happens there at night. So, full conversations what, in the kitchen. West uh, End. My, hmm? West End or East End? She's on uh, she's Outer Congress. So, fucking Portland burned down three times. It was originally named yeah, Casco in the by the Indians. Then it yeah. got burned down by the British. Uh, there's actually yep. two British soldiers buried at East, Eastern Cemetery, and then there's it was actually, um, and then burned down. It was Portland, yeah. Yeah, wow. there's actually a church in Portland. If you ever go there, um, if you go right past the library, it's a tiny little church, and it's one of the original churches of Maine. And there's Act of Portland, and there's actually cannonballs in the chandeliers that actually went through the the church there. The if you didn't door. know. That. Yeah. Heather, oh, I gotta go. To, I'm going tomorrow. I'll send you the location. <laughs> I, oh, I, yeah. I I did downtown tours by DeMillo's and shit because that used to be all the waterfront that was mm -hmm. all destroyed by the British during fires. But that's in City Hall or that's in the old church? It's right next. Yeah, it's literally right down the street. Yep. Portland's yep. named after the Isles of Portland in Britain. Yes. Um, and York, Maine, where the White Witch is buried, is literally as old as Plymouth Rock, pretty, mo pretty much. They yeah. say that fucking Vikings were here. Real quick, too. Yeah, um, we were. They were. Mm -hmm. See, do, what do you guys stand on? On uh, you mentioned earlier boats. You've been quiet, my brother. I want to talk to you a little bit. Um, because I work you're with big women. Into, you're big into cryptozoology and aliens and shit. You guys dig Betty and Barney Pay, uh, Hill Page. Uh, Betty <laughs> yeah. and Barney. That's all right. I love Betty yeah. Page too. Betty and Barney Hill. Yeah, and uh, Jamie and I were talking about this the other day. Um, I was actually babysat by Betty Hill. <laughs> I've been to their site in Franconia. I've been to their house in Portsmouth, the yellow apartment building where Betty and Barney both died. Uh, Barney died of a brain hemorrhage eight years later. Betty died in 2014 in that house. I've been to their grave sites. And, oh, my head's going to explode. I've been to fucking Exeter uh, UFO Festival. Oh, my God. Yeah. And hey, Exeter, UFO Exeter UFO Festival is, is, is on this year. I'll see yeah. you. My birthday's yeah. September 6th. I'll be 44. I'll be 43. <laughs> but I'll be there. Um, I'd love to meet you guys sooner than that, but wow, shit. Yeah. Uh, boats, yep. boats, let's put the focus on your fucking face for a minute. Uh, you were babysat by the Betty Page, Betty Page, fuck, Betty Hill. Yes. You were for abductee, for America's first abductee, black and white couple in Franconia Notch, New Hampshire, 1963. Yep. It's all right, I wow. fanned girl too when I found out. <laughs> what, what, she was sweet as pie. I've watched her documentaries. What was that like, Boats? What do you remember, brother? I, I would love to tell you, but I can't. You were I, young, and, huh? Well, I was young, and I uh, in 2012, I was hit by a truck, so I lost a lot of my memory. Jeez, I'm crow. I had no idea, my friend. Yeah, neither did I until they told me. <laughs> I've, it was a pretty scary today, time. My accident, I don't remember, is ordering Little Caesars, Caesar, Caesar pizza and waking up in an ambulance going, what the fuck? President who? And I was in an accident. God bless you, and I'm glad to know you, uh, Boats. Thank you for accepting my friend request eight hours later. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, uh, I know you got to do a little He's bit. Hey, hey, Ashley will Ashley will testify to all you fucking people, and I say that with love. That I'm a good dude. I'm just into history, and I just love to have fun. Smoke a little bit of weed. I document everything from the food I eat <laughs> to the nail I picked off this morning to the movie I watched last night. I I'm afraid of getting Alzheimer's and forgetting shit, so I document every fucking thing. So if you can bear with me flooding you with history and cool shit. I'll be your you friend. love history and cool shit. Uh, right. I was telling them, I found this guy, and he loves everything I love. And I was, I was telling them all about it. I was, I was like, telling Heather, this Ashley chick's fucking this. awesome. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, I dig your history. I look, every picture's a fucking, every picture's, the thing is, I used to look at people's pictures. And people would go places. And i go, in the comments, where is that? What year is that? Who lived there? I'm like myself, why all these questions? When you can just go, 1832, Franklin Smith House. 
Gov uh, Gloucester, Massachusetts, died of a brain hemorrhage, haunts it to this day. 2022, Adam the Ghost Hunter, suck it sideways. End of story. That's all you need to know. Like, what's the yeah. fucking problem? But people love to have the suspense, and I'm not down with that. Mm -hmm. So, everybody, what's your buck? Oh, Boats, did you give me your favorite haunt? Not yet. Let's hear it. Fortune Naval Shipyard. Oh, my God. Yeah. You stole it, you bastard the jail oh, right boats the jail no oh, no well, no the jail yes i've been in i was jail. a fire i was a firefighter for years. i was oh, a firefighter, a firefighter for 17 and, i was a firefighter for 17 and a half years until i got oh, when i got injured I want you to adopt me. oh my god you're the fucking man <laughs> you adopt me <laughs> you're the fucking man or a stop aura i'm cracking Aww. up as usual so, <laughs> i mean one of the coolest things would be we used to have to do what was called the night watch from eight o'clock at night to eight o'clock in the morning. Sucked. Whoa, and, the yeah. night watch. Yeah, and wishing hours. So a night like this, the door, the the door would be open. Our feet would be up on the desk. We're watching TV, and at you know midnight, two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. If you're awake, I'd see a squid walk by with a with a uh, white duffel bag on his back, wearing cracker jacks, and I'm like, huh. No idea. Just that's out of place. <laughs> this guy's got seaman talk. That's old school. That's old school maritime talk. That's an old school sailor. Yeah. yeah. Oh, anyways, so that's out of place, boats. And you'd go. And <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I would get up. I would walk out the door to see if he needs any help, and he'd be gone. Shut the front door. What? We're talking which an hour? Two a.m. Anywhere from like midnight to three o'clock in the morning. I was gonna say it happened a lot. Oh, man. It didn't yeah. even have to be nighttime, and right. I would see him. Real quick, boats. I'm gonna go to Jamie because uh, Jamie, you just literally got one of my probably my favorite. Besides Amhai and Augusta, my and Stephen King's house in Bangor, my number one place to get inside in Maine is probably Kittery fucking jail. Um, Neil get there. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> How did you get in that? Because I did when I started in? at the shipyard, I was a cop, and we have to we used to have to go in because we would see people in the building. <laughs> and let me tell you, it is as haunted as you might think it is. This held captives from the late 1700s till the early 19. I mean, we're talking like when it comes to penitentiaries. I mean, obviously you got Alcatraz, but Portsmouth Alcatraz they were of the East. But, oh. but so Amen, like people boats. think a fucking men to you. Cheers, boats. Wherever you people are, people think that it's just the prison that's haunted. There's a lot of buildings on there that are very haunted that I've worked in and out of, like um, the old hospital where a bunch of the people from that died from the Spanish. Plague, Spanish-American Spanish War, yeah. um, which is now a barracks for the Marines. Yep. Well, and the um, what the is the jail? No, the uh, the old old hospital. Oh yeah, old H one, M one, M one. Ashley, you got a fucking um, all star team, girl. Holy shit! I yeah, I'm so jealous. I can't get in there, but someday. <laughs> like, like you said, the shipyard fire department. Like I, I would be laying in my room. And every once in a while, I'd feel somebody come in or I'd feel them touching like my back or something like that. Nothing ever. But we did, we did, we did a couple, we did a couple investigations one night and wow. we got Morse fucking code. And we're like, Morse code. Mean? Yes. At a naval, it, people don't realize the East Coast was attacked way before anything else. Why Plymouth fucking rock was discovered. I know mm -hmm. St. Augustine, but Florida's kind of East Coast either. Anyway, but Portsmouth, um, and actually, it's called the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard, but it's actually in Kittery or Ellie, Kittery. right? It's in Kittery, but it's it's named after the harbor, not the city, not the town, city. Right. It's a main. It's not New Hampshire, folks. It's right. Maine, the mainland, which was Massachusetts until 1820. We know that. Um, holy shit! Uh, Jamie and Boats got some history. Uh, uh, Paula and Pam get some readings. Melissa, you bring a lot to the table. Um, you're very modest and young, but I feel like. You're part of the team too. Let's talk about you a little okay, bit. Yeah. What's your go-to? Did you talk about that already? What's your favorite? Um, not yet. And it's funny because everyone that's here is like, actually, she's kind of a wise ass and she doesn't stop talking. So this is not <laughs> funny. I'm creating. I got ADHD persona. up the wazoo. I drink. I smoke indica and I'm still fucking hyper. Go ahead. Um, um, my, I would love to go back to the Isles of Shoals with a more professional group. Um, I don't, I mean, we had fun. It was very fun and interesting, but that place is like, there's so much history there. And there's, I had so many experiences that 
Oh. Not even having like the camera or the audio or the I would kill to be back there and have half the stuff that we use because it would be amazing. We got five minutes left. Is it cool if we go about 10, 15 over? Um, StreamYard gives me technically two hours a week, so I always go an hour just in case. Mm -hmm. um, but y'all have been so fun. So is it cool? I just want to give you a five-minute warning. If some of you got to go and drop off, that's fine. But if you reverse it, you can stay on. I'd love to talk okay. a little bit more. Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah. I want to get around to all of you about some more shit. Do you know anyway, one of the most famous people that were on the person who was in the prison? Yeah. Humphrey Bogart. Get the fuck out of here. Humphrey he was a guard. No, he was he was a prisoner. I thought he was a guard. No, he was a prisoner. Bogart? He, he, yeah, Humphrey Bogart yep. fished ship's movement. So he was arrested for being UA. Oh, that's right. Yes. He played a guard in the movie. Yeah, that's right. That's where I was getting confused. Because yeah, gotcha. they did Forrest make Ridge? a movie about it. Well, there's been a couple movies played, and they've referenced the Porcelain Naval Shipyard. Wow. <laughs> I, I, because I've been real quick name drop. I've been to Eastern State Penitentiary, America, or the world's first penitentiary, and Al Capone had a, a cell there. Um, mm -hmm. Never been to Alcatraz. I know Capone had a cell there, and I know uh, the Birdman did, and of course, Dylan yep. and all that shit. But yep. fucking wow. He was in Maine. He's, uh, yep. Wow. Um, I'm usually blown away because I feel like I got to pull the, the show and you guys are full, full of a bunch of good shit. And that's a good thing. <laughs> um, Have you been to Alcatraz, Adam? I've never been past Iowa. I drove to the Axe oh, Murder no. House in Vassella. I drove to Gettysburg. I've been to Virginia. I've been to like the Mothman area. I've been to um, St. Albans Asylum for a two-day event. Um, I, I was in a suicide tub where a girl committed suicide. I've been in an electric shock, shock chamber. I'm willing to sit in I've been on the sacrifice slab uh, back in 2018, uh, 17. I crossed the barracks and laid on the slab. I got shit on for that. But uh, I've been to Salem. I've been where the witches are hung. I've okay. been to Gettysburg where Chamberlain died. Um, but mm -hmm. at the same time with my mom being dead and my daughter dying back in 2004 and me just dying in an accident, and I'm like, what do I really... I believe in God. I'm part of the Warren legacy, and I got my cross. I got my mom around my neck, and I say my prayers. Do you guys do that shit? Uh, do you guys go in? Do you ask permission? Yeah. Do you talk to the yeah. spirits? You don't go in going, fucking enjoy yourself. Man. It's, a, it's definitely can't. a requirement that we all ground ourselves before we go into any location. We take the whole day kind of ahead of time to just calm ourselves and pull ourselves together. And Paul is very quick to be like, could you ground yourself? You're not going in until you did. Make sure you ground yourself. And uh, yeah, you we take it serious. You take it to heart. Right. Oh, you take it serious. Yeah. Because and you, before you we need to. Any place, You're going to get fucked over. You're going to get hurt. it all there. You know, right. um, we ask, you can't come home with us. And, and we, we ground ourselves out as well uh, before we leave any location. So. Thank you for your time. You're staying here. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I was just going to say, I think, that was, I think <laughs> that was like one of the oh, no, big things. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was one of the <laughs> oh, big damn, things that tell. was different. Um, was I remember after the first investigation, like texting Jamie the next day and being like, I am so <laughs> tired. Like hangover. the next day is like a hangover. hangover that I never knew existed. <laughs> I'm like, did you ground yourself? She's like, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm like, remember we grounded going in? Yeah, yeah I did. did. Yeah, did you ground yourself again? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Jamie, I guess Pam and Paula, too, is being related. You guys can attest to this um, from you girls. Um, people don't really take it seriously. Then you get there and you realize, holy shit, right? I mean, I've had you know something what call me home before. Because I didn't. I, I was lazy. I just was too tired. I didn't do it. And then I called Paul the next day. I'm like, okay. Um, I rode the whole way home with somebody. <laughs> no, I called you that night. I'm like, yeah, there's somebody in my back. Paula? She's like, Paula, yeah. You called? No, Paula, really? You remember that, Paula? We were on the investigation together with our other team a long time when we first started on the other team. What was the name of that? I would look in my rear view mirror I'm and I'm curious. seeing this man in my back seat. Oh. And I'm like, what the hell is that? That's freaky. Oh Paul boy! She's like, she's like, pull over, number one. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> so she walked me through the, the process of getting him out of there, and 
Yeah. So after that, I think, you know, she did like the Gibbs to me. Don't ever do that again. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Sensei. You keep, you, real quick, and I, and I really want to hear from Paul and Pam. They've been quiet. But um, you really look up to Paula. You mentioned that five, six, seven times that you kind of go to her. Is that kind of your mentor, so to speak, Jamie? Is that fair? Yeah. She's our so, yeah, Paula, because huh? she and I were on the team together for so long. Um, and then, you know, Pam oh, my and girl, and Crystal. Like getting What's up, Crystal? The, the last um, year, two years, Hill. when we started the team. But, you know, Paula was always my go to because you hear of a lot of people that are psychics and empaths or whatever. But Paula's the only one that I, at the time that, you know, I was getting into this field, the only one that I really trusted. Mm -hmm. And just because she had A, proven herself. And I know that she's not doing it for any kind of clout and she's not going to BS you. And so I have a lot of respect for her for that. You know, when, you know, now that I've gotten closer to Pam, Pam's no different. I, I, I know I can go to either one of them without any hesitation, right? Because I usually do. <laughs> hey, Pam. <laughs> well, I, I know uh, Paula's uh, working, so you're it. <laughs> Uh, Paula and Pam, you, you both can attest to this. Being the psychic mediums of the team or the healers, so to speak, you kind of are the counselors, too. Is that fair? I mean, that's a good thing. I missed the last You're part. You're kind of like counselors. In a oh, way. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's I mean, but, oh, yeah. For sure. I mean, there's been an instance. Sorry to cut you guys off, but there's been instances, and everybody's still learning all the time. And, yeah, I, you know, I had, like, this – ball of energy like over me while I was sleeping one night and I had no idea what this was and I the first thing I did was I know if I go to Paula she's going to give me straightforward answers and if she doesn't know she's going to help me find them um, because there's she's just a wealth of knowledge she soaks everything up she loves to read she loves to dive in and she loves to know everything she can to help all of us and everybody we work with to, to have <laughs> A better situation. So, I love that. Yeah, she's amazing. I, I'm, I'm, I'm the, I'm the one stigma. I'm the nerd that actually talks. Because as you can tell, most nerds don't say too much. But I'm the one nerd that's like, what the fuck's up? I'm a nerd. <laughs> like, I'm really I'm a hyper nerd, and I'm rare. But Paula and Pam, you're super quiet. I tried giving you the mic. You gotta say something, girls. Um, I love. Um, I want to give you guys some credit. Um, um, where can people find you if people want? Do you guys do readings? Aside from from doing this shit, would you guys do personal tarot readings or, or regular meetings? Yeah, we have for free. We huh? we have sometimes, and we will. But generally, the only time we'll do reads is like for, we did. Um, we've done some fairs for fundraisers for cancer, breast cancer, things like that. Um, we don't know. I, I mean, I, for me personally, you could just nod if you agree. I don't. I don't like to do personal. I'll get you on Nicole. Um, you know, I my whole thing is investigating properties and, and helping people that way. Um, I can do it. I, and again, I have been asked many times. You know, hey, we got a missing person, or hey, can you know, this is no can you help me. You know, things. Well, so like we're that. talking police work then. So no, there wasn't the with the police. Was actually, in police boats. There wasn't with the police. I was actually working with the families. Um, that's still, that's deep. Wow, but, that respect. Cheers. But yeah, wow. but that's I. I'm not. I don't like to personally. I don't like to do readings for profit. It's just not. No, no. I don't blame you. I just didn't know, and I wanted to plug yeah. you guys because obviously we're getting it is eight oh three. No, I and, appreciate uh, that. Which well, sucks. Yeah. We get seven people I mean, watching now. It's fun. There is, come on later. Time, you can get going. there is a fair amount of times when we've done the, uh, the fairs. Yeah. And you okay. know, we, we do it then. Yeah. Would you guys do uh, as a whole now, Jamie, Melissa, Boats, uh, Ashley? Um, all we have in the past. Would you do para conventions and shit like yep. that? Would you go to like para yeah. or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Yep. And if they can't make one, I try to go to them. If I can't make one, they try to go to them. And we just try to introduce ourselves and talk to different groups and, and make friends. You know, it's not about who has what evidence or who has this house they got into or that location. It's about working as a community and helping everybody out, you know. Sharing um, knowledge. 
Oh, Silence Paranormal. I don't know if you've ever heard of those guys. Oh, she's going to say, well, she checked it. Crystal checked it. I met yeah. Crystal at the Warren College. She's Amazing. Deaf. She Amazing. comes up, she goes, I want a selfie. I go, absolutely. Sweetest girl you've ever met. Oh, the um, sweetest. And one of the greatest investigators I've ever worked with, ever. And, uh, yeah, you know, we work with absolutely. those people, even, you know. It's right. just about it's just about being there for each other. And uh, we love going to those things and making all kinds of new friends. Is that yeah. her right there? Like no, that's not her. No. Oh, it's another no. Crystal. Okay. Every crystal. Well, thank you, Crystal. Two crystals are better than one. <laughs> right. Crystal Smith, right? Is that her last name, right? I forget. Said, that was that said Crystal Hill. Crystal, yeah, I bet the one I met at the Warren Con, she's deaf. She came up. She oh, wow. Uh, Crystal Lee. She's Crystal, Lee. Crystal Lee. Crystal Lee. Crystal Lee. Yeah. And their team very, silent, very sweet. Paranormal. Yeah, Crystal Lee. Yeah. I met her at the, at the first Warren Con and I met a bunch of people and we were friends before that. She goes, I want a selfie. Well, absolutely. I want to have her on. I just don't know one of the interpreters, which sucks. Well, I love the techniques. I can, I can help with that. I have a friend of mine that's an interpreter. So yeah. Jamie, please I might be able to make that work. Jamie, did you did you break and, and accept my friend request on Facebook? Did I what? Did you break and accept my request? I did. I accepted it right away. I don't remember. I can't remember. I said, I, so, so you message me. Obviously, no hurry. But I'm honestly, I got to shoot crying? for some openings. I've been kind of slacking going to all these Stephen King filming sites. I went to Sleepy Hollow, look for the Headless Horseman. I've been kind of slacking on oh, guests. Wow. So I want to get some good guests. So please message me. If you can get an interpreter, I'd love to have the interpreter, you, uh, um, her, and me, us four. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, yeah I'll talk crazy. to the. I'll, I'll talk to the interpreter because she's by she's close by here. So, and That'd be yeah, great. Crystal, Crystal right now works third shift, so yes. she works late. Um, yeah. Hey, boats! I want to start a new topic. We're going a little over. Hopefully, you fucking guys don't mind. I can't imagine you got pot roast mm -hmm. cooking. Uh, <laughs> uh, boats! Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go through you all real quick. Boats! What's your bucket list, brother? What's your one thing? Is it? Um, you could do me two. You can give me America, like Alcatraz. You can give me like Transylvania for worldwide. Uh, give me two. Give me your 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 other world, other than American, and your American bucket list. All of you, and go with boats. A boat. Uh, I would say uh, the penitentiary in Pennsylvania for the United States. Easter State Pen. Yeah. What a fucking um, tour. And First then one. I would have to say, you know, bring it back to to the homeland. I'd like to see something in Ireland or Scotland, maybe even uh, Denmark. I like that. We're talking where where people in Denmark and Ireland look at America and go 1600s your earliest. We're talking 1100. Right. We're talking 900 AD. I mean, they yeah. have the they have the history that we we have forgotten already. Ashley knows that's our Graceland. Yeah. You want to yeah. go? You got to go to Europe. You got to go to where it fucking started, where the witchcraft started, where the vampires started. Um, sorry to cut you off, boats. Go ahead. That's all right. So what are you saying? What what place, brother? Is it a castle? Is it a certain place in mind? Um, you know, I, I I would just love to go everywhere. I mean, I would just like to walk the grounds. You know, uh, Culloden, walk the battlegrounds, uh, Stonehenge. You know, um, you know, go to the uh, the eastern coast of uh, of York, where my uh, Danish relatives landed. You know, that. you know, um, I just love that. Just feel the history of my family, you know. I love just, that. I mean, that, do you do you have you traced it back? I mean, is there actually kinfolk with your last name in that area that you could probably shack up with, or at least well, some of their homemade pie? So, or I mean, whatever the fuck? To be technical, my last name legally, my last name is Hardy, but it should be Metcalf. Oh, um, all right. So, well, there's there's a long story behind that. We're we'll not get much more Irish than that, brother. Right. It's uh, so. Um, on the Metcalf side was the uh, I can't remember I can't remember his name, but he was he was a Dane part of the Great Dane Army, who was given land in York, and uh, and became a uh, a lord in York. York, York Maine or Yorkshire, York, England. Yorkshire, England. Okay. Yeah. He, okay, he, yeah. he was, he was yeah, part of the Maine. York for sure. But I didn't know. That's right. what I mean. Yeah, York he, Maine he, after was that? Yeah. Right. Well, York Maine is just a, a stone's throw away, right over there. I mean, oh, we gotta hook up. We gotta yeah. go look for Mary Nason, the White Witch. You and me. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. But anyway, sorry, boats. Go ahead. You're overseas in Ireland, and I'm drooling over here getting a boat. Right. So I mean, one of the greatest places that I've ever been was probably I, I was on uh, Normandy. I oh, I I, I, sl I slept on Normandy Beach before I got. Oh, to boat, son of a bitch! I need to shake your hand. You're a real man's man. You're a fucking hero, Heather. 
He's been to the beaches of fucking Normandy, bro. Heather's been to the Ireland castles. Uh, Normandy still got those ships at bay, those concrete ships to protect the bay and shit. Right. Oh my god, folks. I'm sorry, I'm fucking fanning out on me. I need your autograph. Right. I mean, I've been I've been to a lot of places. You know, I've touched the uh, I've touched the uh, you know the Sphinx. I've touched the top uh, the pyramids. Um, I've, I've been to Israel. I mean, I, I was. Yeah, let me tell you, I. Wouldn't it be cool to investigate Egypt? Like, sorry, I just Ashley. Who <laughs> the fuck are your people? The Ashley, who did you introduce me to? I was friends with Ashley for about four or five months, and then she's like, "I got a team, you know." And I'm like, "Well, I don't fucking know." And then she's like, <laughs> these people, and I'm just like, "Oh my fucking god, you're all yeah. these people that I should have known, especially in Maine." All the time I was down here, fucking boats has touched the Sphinx. For you historians that know, you know the Sphinx. Mm -hmm. Shit, uh, boats, go ahead. So fucking Jamie, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> So I'm, fucking, I'm just a Bieber and out, man. Right? Yeah, so, I mean, you know, it's, wow. it's crazy. I mean, I've. I want to touch the leaning tower of Pisa. I'm Italian. Paselli. Right? Yeah. My, my luck, I would lean on it. The damn thing would fall over. Yeah. <laughs> fucking post. You're the uncle I always wanted. <laughs> um, so, so, how did you I get mean, these yeah, travels, I mean, not, How did you get these travels? Did, was it self. I, I was a, I was a, the boat stands for bosun's mate. I was a bosun's mate in the United States Navy. Thank you for serving, my brother. I've never served. I don't have the balls to, and I'm, I appreciate people like you. Uh, our military gets a bad rep. Um, we'd be fucked. <laughs> we would be literally in cages if it wasn't for our military. So anyway, thank you for serving. Wow. But, so you've yeah, been so paid. I mean, you you nano, would work to see these. Um, not nano. Ever. Seven yeah. wonders. I mean, these, isn't the Sphinx one of the wonders of the world? Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ashley's like, yep. <laughs> yeah, I haven't yep. been, but have you been, Ashley? No. i have not. Um, I'm actually looking into doing uh, a tour of Europe coming up soon with a good friend that I just made at Belgrove Plantation Brian. in Virginia. Um, Myrtle? So, uh, Virginia, uh, Belgrove Plantation. Have oh, you ever Bell heard Grove, of it? Bell Grove. Yeah. yeah. There's a Myrtle Plantation. Uh, Bell Grove's up there. Yeah, home of James Madison. And uh, it was a wonderful experience. I went down there with Jamie. We had a great time. Met some amazing people from Europe. Um, we got to meet Richard Estep, who's an amazing author. Um, just a wonderful overall guy. Uh, you had Carl there. He's a wonderful guy. Um, Carl uh, uh, Johnson? Oh, what is his last name, Jamie? Is that the guy Thank that did you. the Conjuring House before the Warrens? No, yeah. no. That Carl is Carl Hutchison. He's from. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if Thank you've you. ever heard of um, MJ Dickinson. She's got the Sage Paranormal, Sage Productions over in the UK. She's like world renowned, and uh, she, she uh, yeah. So look it up, Sage Paranormal. Sage Productions. Sage Sage Tribe. Yeah. <laughs> By a little and I Carl it. Hutchinson is one of her investigators. And then Richard Estep, he is from the UK as well, but he lives here in the States. He's Richard Estep from Seattle. Yeah. Colorado, I think. Or Colorado. He's from the West Coast. Uh, yeah. Jamie, well, we got you talking. Uh, what's your bucket list? Uh, what's your favorite? What's your uh, American and overseas? Where and why? Well, so, I love the glasses to come off. Oh, fuck. Hold on, guys. <laughs> All right. Stateside, I want to go to Area 51. <laughs> yeah. And then overseas. Uh, oh, what did you say for America? I didn't hear you. So rewind. Where? Area 51. That's in Nevada? Uh, yeah. 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 New yeah. Mexico? Yeah. Uh, Ros there's Roswell's a lot, there's so there's a lot of places out there. So I kind of like to tour that whole area. Um, you got uh, Skin Rock Ranch out in that area in Utah. You've got That's all those first. UFO sightings oh. in Nevada. And I don't hear that much. I love UFOs. I love Betty. I mean, I can't believe boats. I, they made me fucking get a new pair of shorts. No and then overseas, I'm with boats. I want to go to Ireland, but my friend MJ, she said, get your butt over to the UK and we'll go. And I'm like, well, let's do it. No. <laughs> so where exactly UK though? Just in, I mean, like it's very vague. I want to touch like UK, mm -hmm. Britain. Want to go see the Queen? You want to see the dudes with the big beehive hats? Oh, you know what? I don't. And... So she wouldn't be taking me somewhere that's well known. She'd be like, "Come on, this place is haunted as shit. Let's go." <laughs> is where would we we would be going? I think okay. for Europe, Aston Hall would be amazing. Oh, um, it's boy. killer. It's killer. <laughs> 
and stuff. I mean, the there. history that flows through there, you can't. I mean, if to tear it down would be a fucking shame. To know that buildings are getting torn down in America makes me so mad. <laughs> um, That's the thing about Europe is they appreciate everything and they value their history and yes. their location so Europe much more. Does. You know, um, but uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of like the catacombs in England. Ooh, underground. I'd love to check those out. Yeah. What's that the movie where it's about the catacombs? <laughs> Shit. Underground where it's about the Satan and he's way yeah. up and down. Oh, Underworld same uh, same as below. Uh, as above, so below. As above, so below. There it's you go. Yeah, that's too. so good. Yeah. 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 Um, Pam, um, I hate to wake you up, but real quick. <laughs> no, we're arguing. Sorry, we're having a little sister dispute. <laughs> I know, I love it. I want to bring it on camera. I want to get some ratings. On this <laughs> I ain't getting paid yet. I got no sponsor. Something's wrong. I feel like I ain't just good enough yet. Um, Pam, real quick, what's what's your bucket list for for America and or uh, and for Europe after? Okay, so in America, and the reason I brought up um, Alcatraz was because I have been there, but I did not go there in the capacity to do an investigation. And I can tell you, you as a psychic, um, I'm sorry. You had a tour? Yeah, I did. I went on the tour. Um, I, was man. Traveling, I was traveling for business at the time and had some spare time. And so I went and did the tour. And I, I'm telling you, as a psychic, I can tell you it was a lot. It was I was physically, mentally, emotionally exhausted by the time I got off that island um, and would absolutely love to go back in an official investigation capacity. It would be unbelievable. Um, Nicole, as far as my overseas bucket list. Um, yeah, for you, Nicole, that's awesome. I'll tell you, you know, again, I, I've been to castles in Germany, which would be awesome to investigate. But um, being Scottish, we are Scottish on both sides of our family. We're from uh, Clan McGregor on one side, and we're Clan Keith on the other side. I joke that we have our family tree is like one branch. Um, <laughs> you know. it's so, yeah, it's exactly. hanging on by a thread. It's a little bread with one apple on it, but it's there. Fucking a. Man. Well, our, our great grandfather, where um, you see that my last name is actually Clark. The McNay that I used on Facebook is my middle name. That was my great grandfather's name. He immigrated from Scotland. Um, so I think we both have. We kind of just. We're debating on who's going to do what. We're dividing them down the, the middle. We'd like to go see the Clan Keith. Their castle was, um, Dun I can't pronounce this. Dumfries? Dun no. Dun oh. Dun and um, then yours was the, yeah, pronounce it. This one? Yeah, English major. Go ahead. Go with <laughs> McGurney. McGurney. So there you go. So, you know, we're going to take a trip. Go? together to Scotland and do those and also we oh, actually where we knew our great grandfather when he immigrated from over here he died when he was 98 so he was wow. it was the coolest little thing you've ever seen um fucking and Scottish and Irish it. people didn't fuck around they were tough not just for drinking he's, but they were tough he's little the one, shirts he's the one that taught me to walk the land and talk to the plants yeah yeah they love yeah. their land. Yeah. I'd love to um, go back to where he grew up. I yeah. love that. Real quick, um, in Portland, and maybe Ashley can attest to this, in Eastern Cemetery, there's a big plot with 500 Irish immigrants, men, women, and children who died of the potato famine in, in Portland. Oh, wow. and, and, we should yeah. there, and there's one big placard, and it's there from the Irish women of the Irish Catholic. Um, I know Catholics are getting a bad name these days, but people can <laughs> fuck off because, you know what, religion's religion. <laughs> And you know what? I've been to the Satanic Temple in Salem, and I've been to it all. And I've, you know what? I haven't been to Ireland yet. I haven't been to all that shit, but I've been to all American shit. And uh, you know what? Fucking respect, respect. These people died of the Irish famine, and the Catholics put a grave up. God bless them. There's 500 people in this big pit. It's beautiful. And yeah. One fuck the grave. And it's kind of horrible, man. There's a witch supposed to be. Ash, have you heard of that in Eastern Cemetery? Or is it Western? Yeah, isn't it up by the hill almost? Oh, shit, that's Western. Western's got oh, the okay. bishop slash witch's grave. Longfellow's mm -hmm. parents, uh, Howard Longfellow. Yes. The, up by the hill. They also have the Irish potato family. Is that Western? That's Western Promenade. Western Promenade, yes. Portland, yeah. Maine. Actually. Yeah. Still yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful little area, too. A lot of old houses up by it, too. Um, There's a lot of Irish-Scottish heritage. Of old in that. Yeah, yeah. 
People yeah. came through Ellis Island, New York, and said, well, fuck New York. I'm not going to live in a sink. <laughs> but then you got apartments with 14 people, and I'm shitting each other's bread basket. There so was a lot of slaves in. brought in from Ireland and Scotland. Yeah. I re- uh, Boston, too. Yeah. And that's why you had the boondock saints. That's why you had, oh, my God, I've been watching a lot of shit on Whitey Bulger. I'm there in oh oh, Irish are coming, uh, I mean, <laughs> to work in homes in New Hampshire. Um, they were paid, but basically not well. Um, a lot of people sent their daughters over here just to get new lives and send money home. If this and would have been 2020 back then, they'd been marching in the streets with flags and shit, just like everybody else. Yeah. Is. They're yeah. right. It's not going to be like mm-hmm. that. Um, but anyway, we're off subject. Pam, um, you stopped at Ireland. Great shout out. Um, Paula, we're going to go right to you and then we'll go to Melissa. Um, Paula, what's your bucket list for, for in America and also for overseas? Madea? Well, for overseas, I'd be, I'd be on Pam's bucket. <laughs> yeah, we're going to put a together and, and do the family <laughs> thing. Um, and then if I wanted to investigate something closer, it would be uh, the place where my great aunt used to live in Nashua. Because that was... Oh, I didn't hear you, sorry. In Nashua. In Nashua, New Hampshire. Nashua, was, Nashua, Nashua, Nashua. Um, uh, Blood Cemetery. I don't know. Uh, we, don't, we don't even know the cemetery. That's what we should do. Yes, Abel Blood. It's something else, but Abel Blood's there, and he's seen at night, and it's in Nashua, New Hampshire, which is an airport in Nashua, New Hampshire, and it's right by Salem. It's kind of on the bottom. But, yes, look up Blood, B-L-O-O-D Cemetery, Abel Blood, A-B-E-L, and he haunts this fucking place. I got notebooks full. I swear I'm the Stephen wow. King of fucking cool. bullshit. But I got <laughs> notebooks full of just fucking like, But he haunts this place at night with his family, and wow. I guess the warrants have gone there from what I've heard as well. Oh, my God. You guys know so much good shit. We're at eight thirty, which is fine. I don't mind going later. This is our little junior investigator. Oh, Holden, oh, come bring on! Bring him in. Bring him in. Bring him in. Holden's what in my sixteen-year-old son. He's a great kid. He comes. Better not be a Chucky uh, doll. Or I'm for most of the more. paranormal events, he doesn't go to investigations or anything. Uh, show your but face, he, little he man. Comes to all the event. He said, "You got to get over here and show your face." You're oh, yeah, in So, Jamie, cl- oh, uh, Jamie said you're done. Get Jamie, over here. Jamie, oh, folks Jamie. Oh, both said you have to show your face too. <laughs> There's only eight, three, 83,000 oh, people hey, watching. Honey. What's up, little homie? Hey, stick with the field. <laughs> if whatever you believe, you believe. If you have any questions, ask your mom. Stick to the truth and just fucking do your thing, man. <laughs> and you're never yeah, going to do shit. Some of the best. Kids, you just <laughs> tell them to eat dirt. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you like for music, man? What do you listen to? That's a hard question. There's a lot. <laughs> Yellow Wolf? You like Yellow Wolf? Yeah, I, I love like American. My favorites. I like Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters, mm. Pantera, Devil Driver. <laughs> hey, there's reuniting with Zach Wild. Though shake your head, that's killer, dude. Yeah, he knows, yeah he I knows. love the bandana. Mom that's hardcore, well. man. <laughs> so you dig those little guy? You dig fucking? I don't mean little guy in a dickhead way because you're like a teenager. So big man, <laughs> I should say big man. You like ghosts and shit? You dig cemeteries and all that good shit? You respect history? Yeah. He's learned from the best too. These guys have all taught him something new. And uh, I live in Maine too, man. Never one of those wide eyes. Check out. That's cool. Learn from yeah. the best. You've got a great team here. Um, that's cool. Uh, you guys all got kids too? Boats and all you guys must have kids and fucking grandkids you're, and you're shit. You're done. You're good. Bye. <laughs> you're done. Go watch fucking whatever the fuck kids watch. Okay. Pikachu or whatever. We're lucky you came on. <laughs> <laughs> He'll probably go to his friends at school tomorrow. Oh, no, it's summer vacation. You're right. Um, you yeah. guys, all family guys too and stuff? You guys all got kids, grandkids and such boats? Yeah. My daughter will not produce a grandchild for us yet. <laughs> you don't want to have She's kids around the world. Calling her out on the podcast. <laughs> the world don't want to have kids. I don't blame you. I tell you, people just, I don't blame you. The world's fucked up. Oh, shit. We got to go back to Melissa. Melissa, what's your bucket list for in America and for Europe? Um, I, I run the show. You believe that? <laughs> um, Amer- All right. So close to home, like super close to home. I'm very jealous of these two that they've been to the shipyard. Every time I go by that prison, 
I'm like, someday, mm -hmm. <laughs> someday. That's my bucket list. For I want to go whale watching just to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I went paddle boarding for the first time a couple weeks ago, and I was like, I wonder if I can make it there before anyone notices. But wow. I, was, I was giving it all I could to just stay standing. So. <laughs> God damn. Are, you, are we friends on Facebook, Melissa? I think so. All right. That's cool that you went in those waters. That's respect because me and Heather went to Marblehead, Massachusetts to look for Hocus Pocus spots. The old Marblehead Cemetery is where the fight scene was in the beginning of Hocus Pocus. And uh, we went to Marblehead Harbor and you can see the lighthouse. And even Salem Harbor where they had Hubie Halloween. We went to the Derby <laughs> Lighthouse. A fun hole liquor. And uh, you know me, dude. I'm... I, I'm not gonna go to the mall or a fucking museum or what. I'm gonna go to a goddamn historical place. If I am, I'm gonna live. I'm gonna go to a place every day. I got 800 pictures. Yes. I haven't uploaded yet, and um, that's okay. wow. That's amazing to me. Out of all the places around here, you took a kayak or what is it? You took a stand-up mm -hmm. paddleboard. I didn't go like we just went by there. <laughs> in the, in, you in went the there on purpose, Melissa. Don't bullshit me. <laughs> What's that, what? You knew what you were going by. <laughs> it was on a paddleboard in the third strongest current in the East Coast. <laughs> God damn, I love you fucking people. I'm so glad I brought you all on. Even though Paula and Pam haven't had a really much of a spotlight, the psychic medium stay back and observe. That's what they do. They absorb. You guys are absorbing so much energy right now, you're fucking overwhelmed. And I'm not trying to... I have a radio show every Friday night. It's on Paranormal King Radio Network. Um... My boss is out of Quebec, and it reaches like Britain, Mexico, oh, wow. Quebec, or all of Canada. And I'd love to have you on. I can have about one to two guests per episode. And maybe I'd love to in the future, I'll reach out to you guys and have maybe like Pam and, 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 and Paula on. And we could talk more witching shit and like jewels cool. and gems. Floating. And then I'll go to Jamie and Melissa. Then maybe I'll have Boats and Ashley. Or maybe Boats and his wife if his wife is working the graveyard shift. Um, <laughs> she, works, she works days, but... She goes well, she in. Must she, has to, she has to be there at five. She works eight days a week, boats. You're drinking, you're drinking iced coffee, right? moving the life. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, taking care of me is not an easy job. Working with forty-five <laughs> girls in a ghost team. Look at you, boats, living the rough life. Yep. Oh, I love it. I love. I gotta give my bucket there. list, though. I gotta give my Rocking bucket list. Easy. Okay. I have. Yeah, go I've around. Thought about this time. for a very long time. America and Europe or overseas. Okay, so Europe. Melissa hasn't given her Europe yet. North America. Well, it's not in the Europe US, yet. but I want to do Oak Island. I want on Oak Island <laughs> with every inch of my soul. I would like to just put my feet on the uh, ground. Nova there. Scotia. Nova Scotia. Yes, Canada? Nova Scotia. Yep. Uh, and that is my number one. I'm obsessed with that place. Um, I know it's on it. I've read so many accounts from um, Rick and Marty Lagina themselves, even. Um, Dan Blankenships had many experiences there. Fred Nolan had many experiences there. So I would love What's to up? see Oak Island. Um, but overseas, <laughs> I want to get into the Knights Templar churches in Spain. I think a lot would come from there. Also, the prison cells space, in France. Space. Yes. Well, boats. If you watch boats earlier, when I just said Vikings were in the East Coast, Massachusetts, Maine, New Hampshire, Facts, boats they were. it right up. Do you yeah. all believe in that lore of the Vikings coming to the East Coast? Uh, Jamie, all of you, do you, Apollo, do you all believe in the Vikings? Oh, like, yeah. yeah. Coming here, yes. like Nordic style? Yep. On their yeah, paddleboard, Europe, right? I mean, we're, we're you, not can't tell me. Wisconsin. <laughs> you can't tell me that people traveled all the way around Africa and around into the Middle East and around into China and didn't hit America at some point. You know what I mean? Just because it's not documented doesn't mean it didn't happen. And that's the well, hard part. Of it. You don't always plus know the, it all. You know? Well, right. As you know, <laughs> Ashley, your history, and you go back. Uh, even Paula said, even Pam said, uh, Melissa and Jamie, all of you boats, you go back to the fucking, you don't just go, okay, well, the house was built in 1921. You go back to the land. Yeah. Uh, Paula was in this the land. You go back yeah. to where the average, look at Stephen King, these Abernathy circles in Maine. Is it a yes. nonfiction? Is it fiction? You tell right. me. A lot of that's based on something. You guys go back all that way. You, you must understand all that, right? All of you. It's hard to have this For many sure. guests at once. For sure. I mean, we've done a house and looked up the property and it had Native American farmlands on it. 
and that's very important. You don't know what they what they what kind of blessings they put on that land, or even um, you know, like other you know, like stuff like that. Um, Fucking Jamie's more stoned than I am. Jimmy wants to get secondhand smoke. No, <laughs> I'm laughing because when she was researching that property for a client, oh. she ended up accidentally connecting a um, person in a graveyard that Paula was looking into at the same time, and they didn't know. Yeah. No yeah. way. Yeah. Where yeah. was this? What town? What state? It's in uh, Maine. It's in Maine. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It was it was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, Melissa, real quick, what's your overseas? Oh, I was quick. hoping you'd forget to come back because I don't know. <laughs> oh, girl. I'm just gonna take her with me everywhere. Why I is go? Every time I get a blog, girl, they don't want to talk. Pam, Melissa. I had uh Hannah Spade from Cemetery Diaries. I just want to sit there. Why is it all the Marilyn Monroe's on the team don't want to talk? <laughs> No, this is uh, water from the USS okay. Arizona. Okay. Just this fucking guy. I got to head to your mission players. Tell him you're going to take a full hour alone. You're, <laughs> you're the fucking papa of the team. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Melissa, you're not escaping that easy. Fuck off, boats. Melissa, what's your <laughs> over <laughs> Um, oh God. Come on, girl. Jamie's playing the Jeopardy music over here. Um, well, someone mentioned earlier know. about the suicide force in Japan, which is big. But that would, to me, would be overwhelming if you're a psychic medium, which Melissa's not really too open what she is besides a fangirl, which to me doesn't mean shit. I think that's the only way to get my husband to investigate with me is to go there. <laughs> yeah. Just to go where? Yeah. I so heard so the, the, the suicide force in Japan. Yeah, yeah. that's no. uh, that's <laughs> something that baffles a lot, a lot. Of people. <laughs> Let's hear it. Um, I really, I don't the know. The DMZ in South Korea is very haunted. You yes, that's where Jamie said I need to go. No, what did I you say probably, South Korea. The DMZ, DMZ. between South Korea and North Korea places wacky haunted. Mm. That's Jamie's bucket list. Why is that? Was it a nuclear <laughs> bomb or something? Or was it? I think you said DMZ. Oh my God. A, lot of, like, a lot of murders happened on that DMZ mm -hmm. when we shut it down during the war, the Korean War. I, Jamie, you just stumped the historian ghost hunter. Adam, the historian ghost hunter on YouTube. I just went to Sleepy Hollow last week and I went to a building that's getting condemned in Milo, Maine. Um, but yeah, I've never heard of this place. You just stumped me. And I love that. That to me is mm -hmm. great. Is now I'm gonna watch this video tomorrow and write that down and go fucking Jamie to stop me. Ooh, the points go to Jamie. Um, do tell him this uh this wretched fucking horrible island. I love to hear about it. Korea? <laughs> Let me tell you. Oh boy. They're not just Put your hats in the on, fields. boys and girls. So no, it's that so we did a um <laughs> We could do a whole episode alone on just being in South Korea and being oh, in the DMZ in back. North Korea. No, so anyways, Melissa, you, you are thinking of a place. I've bought you some time. Where are you going? I've been oh, in yeah, Melissa. Oh, my God. I know. She was I'm going to say time, Transylvania because it's my favorite go-to. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> What'd she say? I, I said she was trying to buy me some time, but I was being a good listener. So I wasn't <laughs> thinking while she was talking. <laughs> Um, Alcatraz. Was, <laughs> an author, and she's also host of Real Haunted Connections on Paranormal King every Wednesday. I'm sure she'd love to reach out to either any of you would have you on. She has a radio show on Paranormal King. She's an author, and she's part of the Warren Legacy. Can't see her face for some reason. She's been to the um, what's that ship in California, Queen Mary? Yes. Yeah. I've been. I've touched right. Queen Mary. Enough stalling with this phantom bullshit, Melissa. <laughs> Bucket list overseas, fucking now. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. So it better be I know. worth it. Jeez, it's not because I'm gonna no. <laughs> she's gonna, she's gonna borrow my phone and start looking shit up. Well, I'll go there. No, all right out of the Stonehenge. Wah, wah, wah. So all I can run through in my head is I went to um, my senior trip. We went to Europe and there was all these, I mean, we went to like the Anne Frank house. We went to like <gasps> Notre Dame oh, Cathedral, like all of those places. What? I'm just like, that's where I want to go. I want to go back. Going. To Everybody's like, what? Go to Anne Frank's house. You've I don't heard it know. Your live just... historically haunted podcast. 
<laughs> do it. It was very. So, what's cool. your so bucket I... list? So, now what you've been to? <clears throat> Vampire Island, <throat> Italy. Don't make me pull you. I didn't hear your question. What, did you in Rome? what is your bucket list? What did you want? She just said it. She just said what she wants to do. I thought she said she went to Anne Frank. No, that's what she said. She she wants. Oh, but she I'd like to my bad, there. Oh, yeah. my bad. All right. All right. You're on the yeah. hot seat now for always thinking so long, so I don't feel so bad. But that's killer. <laughs> that's, I've never heard that. That's I, the first. Be ah, boats. I love your boats. Um, that's a killer. <laughs> I like that. I've never heard that. I've heard yeah. Gettysburg a lot from people. Have any of you been to Gettysburg boats? You seem like you've traveled yeah. a little bit. Your time, my friend. Yeah. I have. Nice I have not been to Gettysburg as an investigator. I've been there yeah. as a uh, as tourist. just a tourist. Tour. But um, I, yeah. I would like to go and tour the battlefields. Oh. But. I mean, it, it, it's as a psychic, I can tell you, it's bad. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. Bad. It, was, it was very very difficult. I hear that a lot. I, I ask that question a lot because to me, in America, we have Salem, we have New Orleans, which is a big thing. Mm. I gotta get to the French quarters. But mm. Gettysburg, and I've been three times, and all three times I've been, I've cried. I've dropped to my knees. Um not quite I'm not to be weird but like an orgasm feeling, but just enough to where you feel like your body's not there. Is that right, Pam? You know, you know, Paula Paula started talking about being able to kind of taste and, and feel DNA. And one of the things you got to think about whenever there is like a suicide or a very traumatic death. Dave from um, hundred lives. And war, and war is perfect into that Big category. People. There's a lot of people being shot. There's a lot of blood. There's a lot of splatter of matter for no other better way to put it. That DNA stays, mm -hmm. you know, and as a psychic walking into that is literally like walking into the battlefield. It's, it's horrible. Mm -hmm. you if it, you, you think go that, ahead. sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, Paula, go ahead. I just said, you could, like I said before, you can taste it, you can smell it, you um, can feel it, feel it. It's, yeah. it's not a good place for one of us to be. <laughs> well, it, it, it is to be remembered, like the Jenny Wade house, that poor woman got shot making bread for Union soldiers, the only civilian yes. casualty. Yeah. And as Ashley knows, um, history does repeat itself, but at the same time, history begs to be remembered, mm -hmm. not forgotten. Is that fair? Absolutely. And, I think, Absolutely. and I think Gettysburg as a whole is a historical fucking town. And when you go there and you see the fences and you see the murals and the cannonballs and you see the shit like you would see in downtown Salem and I would which I've been I love Salem. I want to die in Salem. I want to die in Danvers, Salem Village, Danvers Mass. Um to see Gettysburg, wow. Um it's something else. Am I right everyone? That's mm -hmm. been that's yep. about it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Agreed. Um, Agreed. Where would be your bucket list as a whole team? Have you guys decided on a place you'd love to reach out and be like, let's fucking get this you know, done? We actually we never we really, really don't. We yeah. we we're like, why pay for something when we can go and help somebody? You know, it's just well, some no. of these places that uh, we've tried a couple places around here. And when I see how much they want for a team, we're like, um, yeah, no. Well, and we really haven't lacked for busyness as far as investigation right. goes. You know. Yeah. Well, well, let me ask you this, Pam, uh, Boats, Jamie, all of you. Who decides what? Who takes the phone calls? Is it Boats' wife? Who takes the thing going, we got one? Like in Ghostbusters. It's, it's who, 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 you know what I mean? Like who, who, who says, hey, guys, we need a meeting. Do you guys meet me annually? How do you meet as a team? That's a good question, Adam. Thank you for asking. <laughs> well, you know, well, a lot of us live like right close to each other. The only one that lives far away is Ashley, and she's what forty minutes away from us. I it's mean, not bad. In, they save one, and I, I speed. In, in thirty seconds, I could be air, yeah, in thirty seconds. I could be airborne and flying and doing a flying pancake for my wife. So, I love uh, boats. and then you know, of course, my daughter still lives here. Hmm. But um, 
<laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I mean, Jamie's 15 minutes down the road. Paul is 11 minutes down the road. Paul and Pam, 11 minutes down the road. Um, you know, Ashley's, you're off of uh, Wichita, right? Uh, I'm Melissa. Off. Yeah. Melissa, yeah. Melissa, oh, I'm Melissa, sorry, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wichita sorry, Road. Yeah. The road that George Burroughs went through from Wells to York all the way to yes. Nashville. Oh, my God. That's fucking the one. Right. Do you know fucking people know I lived in Rochester, New Hampshire for six months, and I lived in Saco for like eight years, and I live in, of course, way the fuck out there now, but I could sh- – oh, my God. Okay, we're going to hook up. <laughs> this is on record. All you motherfuckers. We're going to hook up. There's all this stuff. Which shot road? Which shot road? George Burroughs went on. The, 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 uh, the guy that could hold barrels up that was hung as a witch in Salem. Uh, yes, men were witches and men were hung. So I have a relative oh. that was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're the shit. But Ashley, who are you related to? Don't even um, I'm a Marston, um, so I'm related to quite a few uh, of the original founders of this, that of the of that area. Um, We're almost at two hours. You guys are going to get three. We got to stop in 20 minutes, so make it quick. <laughs> <laughs> I got to have you back on in a couple of weeks. I have openings. Yeah, we would I haven't heard shit from Paul and Pam Bailey or Jamie really, or just Allison <laughs> and both alone. I mean, all of you alone, I could have a. I got. I should have broken up. That's my bad. I thought you guys yeah, come on and go. Yeah, we use uh, we use speakers and they beat bleep, bleep. Uh, I didn't know <laughs> that you're all fantastic. You're all fun. amazing, and Me I mean too. that shit. I'm, I'm glad to know Thanks. you all. Thanks for the heads up, Ashley. You got to see the whole welcome. Right. <laughs> I'm very selective in in this whole area, you know, because I'm not just into just ghosts. I'm very much into UFOs. I'm very much into cryptids. Um, oh, let's talk about that. Bigfoot. What do you look yeah. for for domain? You look for when to go. Bigfoot. Ashley, go. What do you guys look for? That oh show? God, it's all here. If you don't it's think it is, demon. you got a problem. Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds are a big thing up this way too. People forget that. Um, the triangle in Massachusetts. Yeah. Bridgewater. Yeah. yeah you yep. guys do that stuff too, boats. All of yeah, you yeah. chime in. What do you think? Yeah, we've been, we've, we've, been, been we've been, we've been, we've been to the. Uh, uh, we've been, we've been to the, uh, to, to the triangle. Mm-hmm. What was Here. that place that the the woods that we went to that one time that three that of us was, um, in Cary. Uh, uh, the Native American, uh, what the hell was it? That was where the, uh, was it the Pugwuggies were supposed to be around? Yeah. Oh, the Pugwuggies. Oh, look at Jamie line up. Look at you. Look at his trick or treat and I get ready to put the costume on for Halloween. Mer- oh, you, Mer- you, the Pugwuggies, what a fun thing to say. And basically, it was, a, it, was, it was funny that we took this picture and it was basically a preamble of, uh, of Ness because it was. It was me, Carrie, Jamie, and cool. Paula, and you know we we're uh, we were we were on this trail, and uh, you know we just took a selfie of ourselves to document where we were at. But it was it was in the triangle. Bridgewater Triangle. Suicides. Yeah. Satanic yep. rituals. UFO experiences. Uh, deaths. Mafia deaths, aliens, uh, creatures, uh, truckers. I mean, you, you know, Ashley, you're shaking your head, you know. Um, it's, it spans all the way to Fall River, Massachusetts, Lizzie Borden's house, mm-hmm. Maplecroft, and it goes all the way through Bridgewater and all that way through. And they say that it's one of the most haunted places on the East Coast, period. So I have a friend of mine that at some point I'm going to try Jamie. and get the team together because she lives in the Bridgewater Triangle. And she sees, sees stuff there all the time. So I was like, I need to get my team down there. She's like, bring them down. I'll take you guys to all the different hot spots and leave you wherever you want. <laughs> so, okay. Massachusetts. The Dover Demon, Salem, Plymouth, Fall River, the Bridgewater Triangle, Plymouth Rock. I mean, a Gloucester oh, Mass. You can go right up to Farmington, Maine and see UFOs. I used to see them all the time driving home. That's really what piqued my interest, really. And a lot of it is... I'm going home at two in the morning and I'm looking up and I'm seeing lights that do not belong there in the middle of the night. Oh you know, my God, I want to join your team. You know? I got to join the <laughs> You don't even need to go as far as Farmington. <laughs> or, or I was going to say, yeah, or, we just take a, or we just take on one of our cases and all of a sudden realize that right? it's not I mean, a haunting case at all. Exactly. Yeah, it's a totally, <laughs> oh, and that's happened, you know? Or it's yeah. totally uh, uh, Apollo and Pam are shaking their heads. Uh, Melissa shaking her head, all boats. You guys are up for, sounds like you guys are up for almost, you guys are really, um, and, and stop me if this isn't right. 
you're all open minded to pretty much anything from yeah. mermaids to fucking aliens to everything in between. <laughs> Am I right? All of you yeah. really yeah. collectively you usually have that one person that's kind of a stigler that kind of goes and maybe some of you are kind of I'm sure there's must be one of you. Is there one of you that's kind of like, I don't know. Is there that one person that's kind of yeah, off? I mean, the, what, to yeah. I, I'll, I'll jump under the bus. I think I'm the harder yeah. one to press. Like, uh, mm. perfect with evidence review. I joke. Orbs and shit. I kind of, yeah, I joke. I'm like, <laughs> if it's not spinning in a loop to loop and spell on my name, it's not a fucking orb. Yeah. And then, yeah, gotta be a skeptic, as the word of but wait, there's more. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so the other night we're going over evidence for a case that we're about to present to a client. <laughs> Motherfucking orbs just doing loop de loops. <laughs> it is. No, I'm like, okay, even I'm impressed that's with that impressive. one. <laughs> yeah. That's impressive. That's she was like, she yeah. was like, it, it didn't, it didn't spell my name, but it did loops. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Just my name is the snow. What's your problem? Yeah, right. that's impressive right. though. That's impressive. Yeah. You, do you guys, as a whole, document <laughs> as a team or individually as well? It's a um, combination. It's right. a combination. I'll have a report for them. The girls will have a report for them. We'll have a team report for them about evidence. Uh, EMF uh, readings, the whole nine yards, so they know exactly if we found anything that could be explaining anything. Um, and that's Azure usually what family. Carrie and Bolts will put together. Evidence is all put together as well in a nice collection. And if we don't all agree, it's out the door. We're a team. And if we don't all agree, we're not going to go against each other like that. And that, and I love that. I love that, I you know. And, and, one, of the, and uh, one, of the, yeah. one of the cool things about it is we don't stop investigating after we leave the property. Mm -mm. You know, two years down the road, we could still be doing research about things that we came across, and mm -hmm. if it's a if it's a big enough finding, we'll, we'll submit it back to the, uh, to the to the to the client and say, hey, you know, until we just dug this up. But bo bo boats until it's a closed case, it's an open case, right? Boats. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, even even if we oh, classify it as closed, we'll still bring back more information. Yeah, and Jamie is great about communicating with clients. You know, how are things going? What more do you need from us? How, how did that help you? You know, like getting feedback. And uh, that's another Fresh great thing. I don't want to just do an investigation and leave, you know, right. and not go back to them. We're that's there. the Rick and Morty mentality. Been there, done yeah. that, moving on. Sometimes things yeah. drags on for 15. Some, look at the Warrens. And Life Warren had cases open still when he passed away. Uh, Nicole yeah. Gaspard's got a question for all of you, either collectively or independently. Um, do you guys allow uh, others typically, to with you guys? Typically, no. Just because uh, that's a great question, Nicole. But we besides don't. Me. Because, right. Yeah, besides, <laughs> you're different. I mean, you're you. Uh, <laughs> fucking get in so many places by being a spaz. I love it. We're doing a private client's house, and there's that. The, yeah, we don't do public events. It's very, I we haven't even discussed about wanting to do one as a team, because they're, we're they're just saturated with other teams doing public events around here. We just want to focus on the personal stuff and helping people, and not because public events they're they're mm -hmm. nice and all, but. Melissa finally like Thank understood why we don't really want to do the public events so much, like running them because now she's seen the difference and she's like, oh my God, this is what a real investigation is like. And I think too, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I think too, um, back when I did like a group one, um, there were, like I said, two of my friends, we would go every year out to Star Island and anyone could go. It's one of those things where you buy tickets and whatever. And I think it's fine to have someone who's a little like, eh, I don't know about this. Like, that's totally fine. I'm fine with that. Um, but one of the experiences that I had was someone who was a man who was actually being very disrespectful. <laughs> um, and I even being new and not knowing a ton what I was doing knew like, this isn't going to get us what we're looking for. And so to come into this oh. group and see not only the respect that they had for the property, the house, the homeowners, all of that is, it's just such a different. And I think, I mean, I was like, oh my God, I'm signing a non-disclosure agreement. Like, okay. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. um, wow. Just, 
I but think that's the a real team. I mean, yeah, you're amongst and the, the real. Homeowners appreciate it, and it makes the. I think it makes the information that we're getting that much more real and authentic because it's not just. We're not playing around. We're looking for like you know, Paula and Pam said, we're looking for the problem and we're looking for some information to bring back to the homeowner so that they can move forward. We're looking for, <laughs> for validated information to bring yeah. back to the homeowner. It's not just, you know, as a psychic like us, it's very easy to say, oh, I got this. Oh, this is what I'm getting, you know, and it's it's even an investigation it's easy to say oh i got touched oh i got this well if you don't have provable documented evidence it's hearsay That's you right. know it might be fun it might be entertaining but it's not provable yeah, no, not related to the problem. Yeah. And that's where we're after right. is, is, is authenticity because if yeah. you're going to be in it, you might as well be in it to be the real deal. If it takes a little bit longer, exactly. that would be just liable. Yeah, well, that's respectable. And so you know what I, I really love about the dynamic of our group because we really do work differently than other groups. Other groups find out what we do and they're like, what, seriously? We're like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are, we didn't realize how unique we are until other people have been like, wow, yeah, we don't do any of that. And I think that's what brings a lot of the cohesiveness to our team as well. But so between Ashley and Pam and Paula, we're able to target people, if you will. We have names now and we have uh, different circumstances that they're all picking up on. So we can bring those questions, tailor them to the situations from the land. And we've actually had some pretty darn good evidence because of those three ladies, because of what they have brought to the team. That yeah. I mean, it's Unity. a whole big puzzle too. It's like the, pe the people that are coming to us, wanting us to investigate, they know there's stuff going on. We could gather all the evidence in the world and show them that stuff, but the why behind it is the important thing. I think too, just validating those, those spirits yeah. that are there. And mm -hmm. in some, in even one circumstance, one of our very first as a group investigations that we did, we were able to kind of like validate who was actually there and everything calmed down after that. You yeah, know, we didn't have any issues. The readings we had and the history that I came up with, and we were able to come up with a resolution and tie down kind of what the problem was. And we it was dealt with and <laughs> just validating that the existence of these spirits calmed everything down in the house. They, have, they haven't had anything since, you know? So it, it's, it's important to, it's the respect of it all, you know? You're not going to want to disrespect the person sitting next to you. Why would you want to disrespect the dead that are, you know, on the other side? You can learn something. Treat them right. You don't need to get them all riled up to get evidence. I've got some of my best evidence during the midday because that's when a farmer would work. You know what I mean? They're not going to be up in right. their house in the middle of the night, you know? They want at one, one, one o'clock for the Lord. Night. They want the Rob Zombie effect. They right. want the whole Nosferatu, and I get it. But Having a door closed at 8 o'clock in the bedroom because wow. and then I get no more evidence. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it, it depends on the circumstance, you know? <laughs> and the history no. really helps you figure those helps you figure it all out and when we go in nobody knows anything the only one that knows anything is me and if i need to bring up a name or a question they'll be like who's that you know it like they'll kind of question it but they don't question me because they know i've done the best i can and then we're getting evidence with it and then they're like okay let's after we've done an investigation i kind of let them in on what's going on the history the whole nine yards and they're like okay we can use this to kind of help solve the problem um so it's, Keyword investigation. You're yeah. all part of that. Uh, yeah. Paula and Pam, the psychics. Yeah. You, the historian. Uh, yeah. um, Boats, kind of the historian technology. Uh, Jamie yep. Melissa, and Melissa, kind of all of that in one. You're all in one and you're finally all to the machine. Um, they're going to keep me out in about seven minutes. So let's talk to people where they can find you guys. You're on Facebook. How do you find you on Facebook? What is the name and all that good shit for all of that haven't uh, paid attention? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So our, our Facebook page is New England Spirit Society, N-E-S-S. -S. 
and it's just it's a public page and then um what's if our all website that's what's gonna grow right i mean yeah like it like us you know we haven't been real active Follow. lately it's been kind of an odd year for us uh, a lot yeah. of us have had you know things going on or whatever and we're just kind of starting to recover from uh, i call it the six months of hell that we've had as a team well, the two, just yeah. personal. and then i'm sorry about so that but they were it now. Else, yeah. she's our marketing person so you know she's gonna have to we're gonna start cracking the whip to get us get our name out there that's again. actually my role i think i was actually deemed the media bitch media yeah, bitch. Yeah, exactly <laughs> what it was. The media media bitch. Pam so lovingly yeah. called you the media bitch. So yeah, get a t-shirt, stick the like, like, word, right. I was like, get a t-shirt, get a sticker. the media diva, but not, uh, yeah. <laughs> So they can also find us on the New England Spirit Society dot org. It's our website, and uh, it's I mean, so I've never built a website in my life, so this is my first one. So if there's anything on the website, you, great. Just, you know, Just please nice. let me know if you want to see more. If there's something on there that needs to be seen, um, I've I've been working on trying to do public events, but of course with the whole Corona thing, public events kind of went away. Um, but uh, we, we can get you for personal that. cases and personal help if they need home cases and shit. If someone's reaching out going, shit, I'm in southern Maine, upper New Hampshire. I could use some help from these guys. Yep. Is that what yeah. they want you guys? We, we, actually have, we actually have a contact box where somebody can actually fill out a contact notice. And it'll go to, to, uh, it'll go to both of us. Cool. And uh, we will get the information. <laughs> oh, I love that. What are they holding up? Welcome to Ness, N E S S. I love that. It must be a Nessie, the fucking that's, uh, that's Irish. What, uh, that's, monster, yeah. that's what our uh, website looks like when you get onto it. So you know that's on the, the phone. Website. On the phone, it looks different. It, the actual website for the computer <laughs> looks different. Yeah. All right, good. I believe I shared out my. Uh, if you guys look at my Facebook page, um, we're gonna get going. We got about three minutes left. Um, this will be on YouTube tomorrow. I'll take you guys in it. You'll be on YouTube forever on my on my historically haunted page. Make sure you guys subscribe. And don't yes. The bell. Already yeah. have. And, uh, we'll, and it's also my radio show, which is non audio uh, video. It's just audio, but that reaches five countries, and that's more legit. No, this isn't legit. But that's kind of like good. the real Paranormal King Radio Network. And I'd love to get at least two of you on at a time or whatever. We and uh, I'll miss you for that. Now that fall's yeah. coming, spooky season, we'll be all be busy. I'm going to hear at least more three hours. Hours. I'm going to get tongues and vocal cords. They can talk. So we'll get more people involved. <laughs> it's hard with having eight guests because I don't know who to. And uh, Boats is the fucking man. And I know Ashley. So um, <laughs> you guys want to say anything when we get three minutes left? I just want to say, say thank you so much for inviting us and yeah, giving that. us the opportunity to kind of like get out there and meet some new people. It's been an absolute blast getting to know you, especially for myself. I think you're just the coolest guy. I uh, appreciate it. Sorry if you hear the bulldog. Yeah, awesome. And Heather, too. Like She's wonderful. Dog. So um, cool. I can't wait to keep following you guys and watching what you're doing out there with history and bringing it out and it, making people interested again, you know, and making people interested in what's around them. You don't have to go <laughs> to that. Europe to find history. It's right in your own backyard, you know. Oh, damn, and every town. You got a historical yeah, society, town. right, Ashley? Every town has got right. a historical yeah. society. Someone every died. Town. Someone every lived. Someone library, got murdered. You know, there's always someone lost a tooth. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> people are being yeah. as a witch, whatever. It's man. been so I great know. getting to know you and people your, your friends. How much history is in their actual town? Yeah, <laughs> especially the boats. You know that, brother. Yep. Mm -hmm. well, my <laughs> favorite thing is my house you. can't be haunted. It's not very old. It's like what happened on your land three hundred years ago. Right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I love that face. Oh, <laughs> well, she's right, right though, and, and Paul yeah. can attest to that. It's about right. the fucking land. Before we were here, the pilgrims were here, the Protestants were here. Before they were here, the Abernaki, the Barefoot, the um, 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 the um, all these different type of Native American species, especially oh. in New England. They talk about the Wendigo. They talk about all these monsters and aliens. Oh God, we're gonna go on for another two hours. You fucking guys, I gotta get to go. Uh, <laughs> Hey, thank you so much for the show. Um, thank you so thank much, you. Melissa, Jamie, Boats, Paula, Pam, uh, both the Clarks, the Clarks too, Ashley Little Point, and the ones that couldn't watch us tonight, Boats Old Lady. We'll get her on one of these times. She's working the graveyard shift. Gary, we love um, you, Gary. 
We love you too, Brittany. <laughs> and Brittany, all you fucking cats that couldn't join in, um, the New England Spirit Society. Get to know them, because I did, and they're a hoot. And I'm going to do a lot more stuff with them. You're going to see them on my page, and the Historian Ghost Hunter, Historically Haunted. My bulldog's slipping out. You guys want to see it? Oh, yes. <laughs> Hopefully you oh, my God, I love dog. him. I love you. <laughs> she's an American bulldog. Hi, sweetie. That's <laughs> Athena, the Greek goddess. And she's oh, just she's all wound up. She's a happy girl. I, try, I usually put her out for the show because she snores, but you fucking got her on for three hours, so. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. So there Thank you go. You. Hey, I'll be in touch soon. Hard copy up tomorrow on YouTube. Um, Thank you. God bless and uh, the world bless the uh, New England Spirit Society. Uh, historically Thank haunted you. paranormal. Let's let's hook up. We're in fucking Maine. You got it. You got it. Some weed. You guys don't smell the <laughs> my smell of smoke. I got a med card. So other than that, I'm pretty good. I don't smoke your investigations. It's only after a Friday night or whatever. Green mile. You're good. <laughs> hey, uh, folks, Jamie, Melissa, Paula, and Pam Clark, Ashley, all those in the group, and everybody in the chat, Nicole, thank you for watching the Historically Haunted thank Podcast. You. Hard copy up tomorrow. Have a great night, every historians. Have a great night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Three. Remember to look up. <laughs> look up. <laughs> look up.